Welcome to Seven Sided Die's Carpathian Adventure. Travel back 700 years to the early 1300s. Castles like this dot the countryside. The Hungarian Empire or Carpathian Empire is at its zenith. The nascent Ottomans are on the rise, but neither holy nor Roman nor an empire. Holy Roman Empire battles within. England and France fight one another. As the Templars recede into history, the Teutons are on the rise. Welcome to the Carpathian Adventure. This was a great hall. There would have been a roaring fire. It would have been adorned with Gothic windows. This might be where our adventuring party might gather. Let's meet them. From the kingdom of Aragon, I am Zyman Vall. I ventured forth with few possessions and little coin, save an ancient tomb I searched to decipher. But I've struggled to find clues, and at times, food. While freezing in the Alps, fate crossed my path with a shining knight and the champions of the sun. Having aided me in a desperate time, they have earned my service and my friendship. Now, using my wizardry, I fight by their side. I am Balder, a Norseman, a soldier, and an eldritch knight. I left my home to leave politics behind, only to be dogged by it across Europe. I first met the Champions of the Sun outside a small town in Hungary. Together, we battled Ottoman raiders and vampires. The Champions gave me purpose again, and where it takes me, I know not, but I know I want to be a part of it. I am Kip Kaelin, Ranger of the North, and I am lost. Hailing all the way from Garen in Scotland, I have faced great tragedy, losing all those dear to me. I am haunted by that fateful night and what was taken from me. I face defeat at every turn, attempting to enact revenge on those that did this to us. And when all my strength, resources, and allies, save for my trusted wolf Lycoa, was depleted, I stumbled upon the Champions of the Sun at the Battle of Sakut. I decided to ally myself with these seemingly capable and worthy adventurers to aid me in putting the lost to rest. It is what she would want, or so she seems to indicate. Aha! Hello, friends! You can call me Luvia Moreau. I come from the beautiful country of France, of course! Traveling as a salesman, banished from my home, where by the hand of my twisted sister, my father was killed, and I was implicated. Mon dieu, how low I've come. But in that law, I found the champions of the sun. Although they may not smell like sweet wine, they are honorable. Uh, mostly. I am Borinth, the cave bear. I come from a tribe of barbarians that once lived in the mountains of the Badenweiler. While on my sacred spirit quest, my tribe and family with none left alive. I now seek the power to avenge my people. With my rage, I grow stronger. And with the champions of the sun, I seek a path to restore and preserve my people's culture and rid this world of any evil that stands in my way. I am Matthias of the House of Bathory, Knight Baron of Carpathia. With my traveling companion, Ambria, I was dragged into a whirlwind path by a rogue monk. But those I have met since then have earned my respect and, importantly, my trust. Welcome to the Carpathian Adventure.
Welcome, I'm Tom. Thank you for joining us. We're a group of gamers who get together in real life to play Dungeons and Dragons. And some of us are military, some are in construction, IT, others, retail managers, a few as parents, students, etc. While we do this strictly for fun, we hope you enjoy it nonetheless. There were quite a few thank yous in our open, except one, you. We'd like to thank you, our Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook followers, and our YouTube subscribers. Thank you for joining us. To those who have not already, please follow us on Twitch, Twitter, and on Instagram. Please like on YouTube and on Facebook. And of course, please subscribe on YouTube. If during the stream you follow on Twitch or if you subscribe on YouTube, your username will pop up on the screen. Please know that during the stream, some of us are watching it. In particular, some of us are watching Twitch. So please feel free to comment or ask questions. While live, we will endeavor to answer them if they are appropriate. To all of our subscribers, thank you. What happened in the last session of the campaign? On a diplomatic mission, it was a while ago. Um, we had to punt because of a, a low showing here, and it seems like uh, the, the seems like a, a little sidebar here. What are, what are the six words that end most campaigns, guys? The <laughs> six words that end most campaigns? Uh, uh, anybody? Reiner? Uh, uh, Chess? Thank you. Thank you. See you next week. <laughs> so, I think we may be coming to a close on the Carpathian adventure as well, it seems like. But for right now, we'll continue to motor on. On a diplomatic mission, the pa party made their way from Buddha to Sagut. There they met with Bayou Gossman Ghazi and discovered that he is a powerful vampire. Fighting, then fleeing, they left Sagut, but they remained determined to return. Gathering strength to defeat Ghazi and addressing individual pursuits, they made their way back through Constantinople, Floire, Venice, across Trent, the Tyrol, and across the freezing Alps themselves. Crossing the rolling hills about a day south of Salzburg, the party explored the ruins of a church. Accompanying them was a lady named Neben Aventur. To free some held for ransom family members, she had solicited the party's help recovering an object from the Holland salt mine. While the party battled lots of spiders in the church ruins, Nebenaventur died. From the ruins, the party continued north to Salzburg. Despite Nebenaventur's death, the party decided to investigate the disappearance of her family members. They went to Nebenaventur's house and spoke with the caretaker. From her, the party learned that Neben Aventur's father, Alters, and her brother, Jung, have been missing for a while. The party then ventured to the nearby Holland salt mine. In a secret compartment near Alter Aventur's workstation, the party found a last will and testament, bequeathing the mine to the current owner's brother, Rupert Unterstein. Visiting Rupert, the party found a fellow who appeared innocent enough and had clearly fallen on tough times. It also appeared as though he had some less than savory looking kids to deal with as a single dad as well. The party then decided to visit the mine's current owner, Jacob Unterstein the Younger. While Morton approached the front of Jacob's house, Simon, Balder, and Georgie the Capuchin Monkey went around back to the basement entrance. Introducing himself with a false name, Morton talked his way in and spoke at length with Jacob the Younger and some of his staff. Meanwhile, behind the house, Balder broke the handle off the basement door and Zyman jimmied the lock. Gaining access, they investigated several rooms. Continuing down a hallway, they found a cook and a servant. A mage soon appeared, cast a spell, and a battle ensued. Other guards entered the fray Defeating them all, and just as the city guards were about to cut off their retreat, Zyman turned Balder and himself invisible. Despite Balder's clattering plate armor, both narrowly, narrowly escaped. Much to the surprise of the guards, Georgie the Capuchin trotted out of the basement's now broken doorway and disappeared into the alley, soon linking up with Balder and Zyman. Given the dumpster fire that had just occurred <laughs> and suspecting that they were being watched, the party decided to seek out a different inn in a seedy Salzburg tavern called Zweitevard. We rejoin the party. Again, welcome back. 
Guys, I know it's been a couple weeks. At least we have Reiner and we have Jess at the table. We have Matthias and Zyman. Uh, we thought Morton Dennis was uh, coming. I, I don't know. I hope he's all right. I hope everything's okay. And uh, glad you could join us, Reiner. As am I. Awesome. <laughs> so you guys are in the Zweiterbord cabin. Um, sitting there. If you want to recap what's going on, uh, you're sitting there drinking away at the moment. Welcome back. Oh, what can I get for you? Says uh, Frundlik Gunnig. Gunnig. Uh, just, just an ale, please. Uh, very well. You see him trot off to grab you an ale. Is Matt... Matthias, Matthias is, with is, in, you. is in here now. Yep, okay. Matthias is there with you. He found his found his way to us. Mm-hmm. Uh, Morton is here. not there at the moment. Uh, Nor is Borinth. Matthias, we could have we could have desperately u- used your help. I think things would have gone much better than than they had. Uh, really? In what way do you think they could have gone better than if I had uh, been there? Oh, maybe you could have staved Baldur's hand and kept the fiasco from unfolding. I, this I still is ho- find it incredible to think that it was Baldur who caused this mess. <sighs> I still have difficulty remembering that all our problems aren't caused by that warlock. <laughs> of course, the warlock's dead. Uh, I, I don't. I, I never met him, but if he was that bad, hmm. I, I fear that he was um, disrupted. Disrupted. Hmm. That is the polite way to put it. Hmm. Well, I'm, I'm sure the authorities have been notified, and uh, they were they were there. I'm sure descriptions have been given. Uh, it's probably probably best we aim here for the night rather than go back to our other lodgings. Of course, you are free to do whatever you want. You you were not there. They have no suspicion of you. <laughs> Why do you believe that this is some sort of psychological test? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, wait, it's because this is the party that I'm not a part of. Never mind, I know that it's a, uh, I know that this is either a test or a guilt trip. <laughs> <laughs> It is, it is fine. I mean, all, all your belongings are still there. I can, st- I can stay here by myself. It is, it's all right. <laughs> can you feel the skepticism radiating off of me in waves? <laughs> like the incoming tide on a, on a, full, on a night of a full moon. I will consider what I wish to do for the evening. Uh. All right, so... You're now wanted, most likely, by the city guard of Salzburg. Oh, uh, yes. uh, possibly, but... I mean, I can blend in much better than Balder can. I mean, he is quite large and hairy, and he's got a giant flaming hammer... He kind of he kind of stakes out. I can just change my clothes and perhaps look different enough. Remind me what exactly he did, I, because I'm I'm still kind of in shock right now that this uh, this entire fiasco. Remind me what exactly he did that the authorities are now looking for you. Well, while Morton was upstairs, we may have broken in, uh, in, in search of. Uh, Aventor's parents uh, we thought maybe they would be held there I, why I do not I, I, in hindsight it was a foolish idea who would, keep, who would kidnap people and keep them in their own home but nonetheless we, we pressed on and uh, there was a, a wizard in the house and he was probably alerted as soon as we entered the home to our presence we 
We we tried looking in the basement and quickly he was he was upon us and luck, luckily we were able to get the upper hand on him and t deal with him quick enough but then some guards which I presume were house guards uh, made their way downstairs and we we kind of had to kill everybody uh, well we could have died ourselves but Well, I did not want to die. I understand that. I'm just saying. I'm beginning to wonder if this is some sort of divine retribution or just the playtime of a malevolent god. Uh, mistake. Mistakes were made. Many, many mistakes were made. Clearly. Yeah. I will agree with you on that. There's no, there's no question. No question whatsoever. All right. All right. So, like I said, the City Watch may be after myself and Balder, who has seemed to have slipped away into the night. I do not know where he went. Oh, dear. But... Was, was Balder acting strangely? Or, or did he just... He, there was some ranting about eyeballs. He kept talking about eyeballs. Oh, joy. Yes, for some reason, for the last few... I think it's months now, he's had this obsession with collecting eyeballs. I, I, have I don't no, know how it started or what he uses the things for. I, I have noticed. I've tried not to say anything. No... It's unusual to me as well. Just, uh, He wasn't always like that. Hmm. I don't know what changed. Perhaps we should investigate it further if you think he has changed for the worse. If you think something has if, taken if, hold of him. If that, is the cause, if that is the cause of this, then perhaps. Hmm. But we need to... First we need to get everything lined up and figure out what we're going to do next. Alright, so yeah. we don't have any, did you find any leads? Um, any at all? Morton, Morton talked inside the house. I, I, I did not have much chance to talk to him either uh, before we came here. I'm not exactly sure what he found out. Um... We visited the other brother. I, I will say that the the other brother has two two sons, and they they are hanging out with some unsavory fellows. We saw them leaving the house in a large large group, about a dozen young gentlemen looking for trouble. I would say, whether or not they have anything to do with this whole mess of the kidnapping, I don't know. Borinth walks into the bar and sees you over in the corner and, uh, I'm assuming, goes to join them. <laughs> Just going to nonchalantly go up to them and pull a chair out, sit down. Borinth. <sighs> How's it going? You still smell like pine trees. It's better than what I probably smelled like before. <clears throat> You got, you got the city smell off you. At yes, least. yeah. I'm not a fan of the city smell. What's going on? What did I miss? Uh, a great deal, apparently. Where is everyone? Are we all we scattered all about? Where is, uh, and I cannot speak for any of the others. To the, uh, to the winds. Take it away. Okay. Good stuff. I put an inspiration point um, on your stack, Reiner. Why does everybody look so so beaten up? Well, we we had a episode while you were gone. We may be wanted by the city watch. It was mostly Baldur's idea. Is that why you're all kind of sulking in the corner here? 
Uh, this looked like the place we would least likely be sought out by the city guard. Hmm. So, does this have anything to do with the mine and the... the uh, yes, we were, we were at uh, Jacob Understein the Younger's house. Morton was trying to get information. Uh, he, he went in, in the front door and we went in the back door. Okay. Sounds messy. It ended up <laughs> very much so. Oh, I'm sorry, I missed it. Um, so am I. Maybe you could have steered us on a clearer path than, well, what, than what, what we chose. So what did you find? What's you now? Is this resolved yet? Did we... No, my, my plan before this all went sideways was to use the will as, as leverage to get something for ourselves and, and be done with it. Okay. Uh, I don't know that Morton actually made our position clear while he was inside, though. I think he and this is with tried to gain the more. Elder energy. brother, the current runner of the mine. The the runner of the mine. And we went to okay. the the other brother's house. His house is run and down. And who do we suspect has this yeah. family being held? Uh, we th we thought for some reason that they were held in, that he was holding them in his own home, which was of course ludicrous. Okay. So but, why but, don't we just make this short and sweet and we just go knock on his door and let him know what we have in our possession and that if he wants it, we just want the yes, family why back. why don't you explain? Yeah, that, that was kind of my, my plan to start with. I don't know how Morton and Balder okay. came up so why don't end. we just do this? Is he? Did you didn't kill him? Did you? Uh, Matthias, did you kill no. him? Ma Matthias, Matthias okay. was not there. Okay. The, uh, the two voices of reason were not, were were not around. So. Oh, I've never been considered a voice <laughs> of reason. Uh, maybe a voice of simplicity, <laughs> but not. Okay. Um. Is he still uh, we, alive? He, he is alive. Uh, some of his house guard are deceased, uh, and a, a, a wizard at, at least as powerful as myself okay. is also deceased. Uh, what do you, uh, are you in favor of knocking on his door? I mean, I'll do the knocking. I, I, okay. I mean, I mean I, we, we just... Yes. Well, We're not I, looking for anything other than this family. Uh, Correct. Well, or do we even care at this point? Well, that was kind of my that was kind of my point okay. that we don't need to care. We can just be paid for the will that we have and give it to him. He he can keep the mind and we can leave. Right. And be on our way. So we're not going to try and save the family. Is that what I'm getting here? No, I would like to try to save them. I would like to try to try to save the family, Mattis. I mean, that's what we originally intended on doing, and I think that's what we're going to do. Um, is this them? You guys right here, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're in the corner. Okay. Um, so that's what we'll do. I will knock on this gentleman's door and let him know what we have in our possession, and that if he would return the family. Um, and we'll give him a place to return the family to. And at that time, we can have his the, the will that he doesn't want anyone to see. And then we can be clean and walk away and continue onward. We have other we have other things to do. We have many things to do. Fair enough. We, we, we tried my way. It seemed to go very well. Okay. Barkeep. Oh, yes, yes. Bring us a round of ale. On my way, on my way. And, uh... We'll drink, and then we'll go. Mattias, are you in favor? I'll go. Okay. I'm in favor, I suppose. I okay. suppose if, it's, if, if the family emerges safe, safely from this, I suppose I can't object. What would be a good place? Is there a town square? I'm sure there's a town square. Okay. I'm sure there are multiple town squares. Yeah, plazas. Okay. We just gotta pick a mutual yeah. place to meet. In a, in a large, in a large, uh, in, a, in a small city like Salzburg? Absolutely. Okay. 
I wish Kip was here. We could use a Kip right now. But you talk of this Kip. I have I have never met this gentleman. I am he's beginning a good to man wonder if he yeah. actually exists. He does. He's a good man to have up in a, a tower on a rooftop building when hmm. you don't want anyone to you know know he's there. Kind of watch our back. Hmm. That sort of a gentleman. That that would be nice in this instance. Okay. Um. Yeah. Wait, the two gentlemen go up to the barkeep and they take the drinks from him and they walk over towards your table. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the bar itself is filled with a seedy lot. I don't know if you know, they went to a different bar than you had right. originally built, been in. They're in the one called the Zweitevor. And in uh, low German, which you both speak, I think all three of you might speak, uh, they say, Guten Abend, good evening. Um, can we uh, join you? I'm not tipping you for bringing those drinks over. Mm. Very well. Um, would, might you tip me for this? I just... He pulls something, <laughs> hands it to you. <laughs> he says, I pulled that off a, a wall outside. <laughs> Handsome fellas. That uh, little one looks... A little bit hairy. I can't read. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, you uh, some sort of artist or something? No. You like drawing pictures of these individuals or something? Um, I can't take credit for it. As much as I would like to. Hmm. Not your best angle, but you have an admirer, it seems. It looks nothing like me. And who is this? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I've never seen that man in my life. I think you have the wrong gentleman. How about this? <laughs> How about you draw us a portrait right now? I'm not an artist. You're not? What are you? I'm uh, I'm Herr Grun, and this is Herr Gelb. And you know that that's Mr. Green and <laughs> Mr. Yellow. Okay. Um, we're here on behalf of um, Mr. White. And uh, we know you've been asking around town a lot. So perhaps you have something Mr. White's looking for. Perhaps. Perhaps you have something that those three gentlemen are looking for (laughs) in return. Yes, perhaps. Okay. So how about we uh, meet under better circumstances and we each bring what we think the other is asking for? I think that could be arranged. I think there's a plaza right out, right outside here somewhere. Probably. It's a little dark. Say, <laughs> an hour. Um. Why don't we make it tomorrow night? This time, and um, in the warehouse district. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's not going to work that way. It's going to be somewhere random that we both, that we could mutually agree on. I'm not walking into some warehouse district like that. Fair enough. Something simple. Doesn't have to be a big ordeal. A little town square, a little plaza. Something quaint. No city guard. Just Mr. Yellow and Mr. what? Uh, Green. Green. Mr. Green. And uh, eh, Mr. White wants to attend. He can attend as well. I prefer it. Very well. Um, He gives you the name of a plaza. We'll call it this one right here. Mm, it 
it's a uh, kind analyst on thoughts. Okay, good enough. Tomorrow night. This so, time. So now that we have business out of the way, uh, you're, have enjoy a seat. Your drinks. No, have a seat. Uh, Barmaid, <laughs> bring two more. Sit. He looks over at his friend. Very well. We'll sit. So. What is it that you do for Mr. White? Um, we do a lot of things. I mean, you're not the muscle, right? But you look at him. <laughs> um, <laughs> he doesn't look like Tom. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, the two of them look pretty rough and tumble. Like I said, you're not the muscle, right? You um, must have other, you have must he's other wiring. abilities. He's wiring. Um, we're cleaners, so to okay. speak. Oh, okay, you clean up the mess. Clean up messes, yes. Hmm. It's a shame. Why is it really? a shame? Well, you go around doing Mr. White's dirty work, and you know you guys are stuck here. No. We've been all over. You ever been to Constantinople? No, I can't say that I have. Ever been to Italy? Uh, no. Maybe you guys are limiting yourself here. Right? Perhaps. I mean, I granted, Germany, is, it's beautiful here. Salzburg is beautiful. What a great place to to start, but there's a world out there. All Just right. don't want to see you guys sell yourself short. You don't look you, like you're exactly rolling in wealth yourselves. I mean, uh, perhaps... Um, perhaps we... we this yeah. gentleman over here, and Don wearing his plate armor at the dinner table. <laughs> I mean, that's an interesting thought, actually, which is why this round is going to be on you guys. That's fine. <laughs> Sometimes wealth comes in different ways. This is true. Sometimes success comes in different ways. And how do you measure success? Um, and what should we call you? I'm Borenth. Borenth. How do I measure success? Yes, how do you measure success? More of a the journey is the most important part type of man. It's an accumulation of experiences. Be able to pass down a legacy. To be able to go with your boots on, maybe. Go. Maybe to, uh, yeah. You don't want to go without your boots on. Fair enough. Right? It's about the experiences that we've gathered. People that we've helped. Perhaps maybe the legacy that you've created. What kind of legacy have you gentlemen created here? Other than pushing around people, doing Mr. White's dirty work, I'm sure. We're cleaners. We're not cleaners. Dirty work, like I said. Perspective. <laughs> Do you generally work in the mines as well? Mm -hmm. Not anymore. Not anymore. Oh, so you've got you you've, you've worked, worked your way out of the mines. Yes. That's good. That's great. Right? That's the path. Advancement in, in anybody's chosen profession is, is something to be desired. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Mm -hmm. I've never worked in a mine. Mm -hmm. It's I've hard worked work. in the fields, but I was raised, I was raised on the battlefield. That was what I was meant to do from birth. And that was a path that was chosen for me. All right, but I'm sure that's probably how men like you started in the mine. Isn't it something that we learned from our fathers and their fathers, and they put us right out there to work. Yeah. You build muscle, builds character. Right, yeah, build skills. I get it. We're not bad men. I'm not suggesting you are. And we honestly want nothing to do with Mr. White's problem. Fair enough. But we are men of our work. And we made a promise to someone, and we're gonna keep that promise. We're gonna do everything we can, right, to make that promise happen. The wealth of it, ownership, any of that stuff, that doesn't mean anything to us. We don't need any of it. So, tonight, we can drink, and we can eat, and since we're, you know, down on our luck financially these days, you gentlemen, I'm sure, can 
I'm sure we can talk it back to Mr. White. You know what I'm saying? I don't think you have to worry about that. Okay. He looks around the place. No, you don't have to worry about that. Okay. Excellent. How many more of your buddies are here? You're a wise man. <laughs> come, come bring them in. Tonight right. we drink. <laughs> um, Mr. Yellow and I will drink with you. Cheers, my friend. Cheers. Cheers. And perhaps, Cheers. and to you, Tin Cheers. Man. And perhaps, once business is done officially tomorrow, we can, we can salute each other with our real names. Perhaps. So. That Borinth isn't your real name? Maybe not. Oh. No, it is. I can only remember one oh, name. Oh, okay. like, <laughs> <laughs> what is your name? Uh, <clears throat> that's very important. Oh, very well. Uh, and you? Mr. Purple. Mr. Purple, Mr. Purple. Mr. Purple. Mr. Purple. <laughs> it suits you. <laughs> I suppose you'd call me Red. Mr. Red, I like this. Mr. Purple, Mr. Red, and Borinth. Borinth. <laughs> I didn't pick up on the, uh, yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> I have nothing to hide here. I mean. You yourself are kind of tough to hide. Yeah. <laughs> He calls for a few more rounds. They come over, and, and they bring them over, and uh, bring some food as well. You gentlemen are lucky. You caught me on a good day. <laughs> caught me on a good day. No, really, it's. I came out from the mountains, and uh, took a little time off. Came back from the mountains, and I feel good. I feel you, rested. You, you seem in a much right? better mood. You seem I mean, better. normally I'm, you know. Yeah. I'm looking for a fight, but no, not tonight. I feel like tonight we can celebrate some. I think we're on the right path. Another day in the city and you all want to kill someone? No, perhaps not. I, I do have a story to tell you, gentlemen. Oh, go ahead. Sure. What do you gentlemen know about vampires? Uh, fairy tales. Hmm, you would like to believe. We've seen them. You've seen the flesh vampire. and blood. Absolutely. And where, pray tell, have you seen a vampire? You want to fill him in, Matthias? I know you like talking about Ghazi. What, the fact that he's a vampire? <laughs> well, our, our friends here believe that vampires are fairy tales. <laughs> Let me tell you, we fought these vampires. And they're as real as these drinks we drink as the blood that runs through our veins right now. And they're coming for all of us. And the numbers increase. They're coming. So we... Well, they weren't there to see the piles of corpses. Right. Yeah. We've seen them feed. We've seen them fight. And they are formidable foes. And numbers are what we need. And as we travel this land here, we're looking for men, able-bodied men, that are willing to fight for their homes. And then where are these vampires? Right now they're under the rule of their main vampire, Emperor... Is he an emperor? What the hell do they call a Ghazi? What is he? Sultan. Sultan. Sultan or, or just Ghazi. Right. And where is he in? Is, what was the city he was in? He's not in Sagut? It was he in? Sagut. Sagut. And he is there massing an army. And, and in fact, they're using underground tunnels that have been being carved out as close to here as the opposite side of the Alps, up through into Italy. They're using those tunnels to, to dig out and underneath, and then they come up and attack from there. Um, but they're massing in numbers and they're gaining in power. I mean, right now, yes, it's, you know, in Istanbul territory, but it's, it's, it's coming for all of us, you know, and as our group, um, 
You know, we're looking to stop. We're looking to stop this harm that's coming to all of us. That sounds very noble. We're just men trying to do what we can do. And I, I, it'd be nice to know that there's good men here in this city that are willing to put their lives on the line to, to defend it when the time comes. I, I have not seen these vampires that he talks about. He doesn't even know his own name. No, <laughs> they exist. I think they exist. Just drink your drinks and thank you very much for for <laughs> for paying tonight. <laughs> uh, well, I want you to be able to afford your army. So. Yeah. Although yeah. I can, least I can do is buy you dinner. This is true. It is the very least you can do. Hmm. Well. They bring over food. Brings over several. It's not quite as good as the last tavern that oh. you were at. Matter of fact, it's palatable with a few more drinks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just keep drinking. I'll flavor it up with a little press the digitation. Oh, oh there you go. go. Yeah. <laughs> he knows how to make things taste well. That's about the extent of his abilities. Just makes you think it tastes good. Yeah. <laughs> He's good to keep around when you're when you're in hungry and. Uh, so it's really not lousy. Good. It just you just think it is. Yeah. It just tastes. It just so. tastes good. Mm-hmm. It doesn't make it good. <laughs> That's all that really matters is that it tastes good. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes a little extra salt just doesn't do the trick. Mm. Very well. Well. Thank you, gentlemen. We appreciate you uh, joining us. Well, thank you. We'll see you tomorrow night then. Yeah. yeah. Tomorrow night. The two of them get up. They both leave. Take the rest of your friends with you. We'll see you tomorrow night. <laughs> Roll a perception check. Anybody? Uh, it's a 15. An 8. Hey, Borinth, you notice probably <laughs> about a half dozen other people just slowly from the crowd kind of melt out the doorway at the same time. I mean, I would have killed every last one of them anyway. <laughs> I would have killed them all. It was a smart man for walking away. <laughs> I don't think many men would challenge you. Yeah, I wasn't in the challenging mood. I think it'll be better off this way. And hey, we saved the trip of having to go to his house. Yeah, they come to us. I fear that maybe you are too vague in your demands. They, they, might, they might, might not know what you were trying to infer. They may not know what I was trying to infer. Hmm. Well, we shall see what happens. I, mean, <laughs> I have a really cool conch in my bag. I could just say, here, I stole this, sorry. <laughs> Is this what you were looking for? <laughs> right? And listen, they're going to have to tear that will off my dead body. So I like to see him try it. Oh, if they okay. don't come with what we asked for. All right. Well, then we should indeed get some rest. I am s- still a little weary from today's oh, events. Oh, okay. You haven't rest. You haven't rested yet. Not that it's going to make a difference. A little rest isn't bad. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Uh, I'm going to go just kind of walk through and step outside to see if there's anybody. I'll walk outside first. This, we're not staying here, right? We're staying somewhere else. Well, we have the other place that we were staying in. But okay. We were not going to stay there oh. because we are oh, right. wanted. Oh, that's what that says? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I had no idea. I thought he was just an artist. <laughs> no, that, that says we killed lots lots of people. Oh, really? Yeah. How many? Uh, three. That's uh, not, that's two. Not. Double murder. Yeah, uh, attempted murder. Breaking, entering, uh, vandalism. Yeah. Okay. Well, Criminal I'm, mischief. We've done most of that before 9 a.m., so before. If you turn us in, you could get 500 gold. Oh. Maybe if I did turn you in. <laughs> Maybe if I just turned Georgie in. In all honesty, we don't know where Balder is. It doesn't say how and, much for just the monkey. And he'd be with Georgie. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Well, then again, I mean, yeah, I guess you're the only one depicted in there. 
Uh, this this is true, so I should probably at least stay here. Well, we can all stay. Here. Uh, maybe one person going back to our other accommodations would allow us to know whether or not they are on to us. I'd much rather not leave you two. Okay. Just in case. Some city guards decided to show up. Well, let's also hope that maybe Mr. White, or what's mm-hmm. what's his real name? Are we hope we're Oh, uh, we're, we're presuming uh, Mr. White is uh, Jacob Understand the Right. Younger. So, I believe. I'm assuming he's a man of some noteworthy in this city, and that maybe he's going to well, give that's... us till tomorrow. Maybe he will make sure that the... Without a doubt, the, the mind is one of the most profitable. Right, so maybe the authorities won't come necessarily looking for us now that we've made some sort of an arrangement for tomorrow. But still, we should be safe, yeah. and we can just crash here. Yeah. I'm going to take my end of my drink and just finish it off. <coughs> I'm going to take a little for the road. <laughs> some stuff from food in my bag. Get a couple rooms for the night, mm-hmm. I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> The bar keep the bar is slowly emptying as you drink and finish off your food and finish off the drinks that were provided for you. And the barkeep says, um, you need rooms? Two rooms. Two? Um uh, just the three of you? Yeah. Uh it'll be uh, one gold for all three rooms. Yeah. Uh just two rooms. Yeah, two or three rooms. rooms. Make it three rooms. Yeah. Uh, one gold for three rooms. Okay. I'll get it. And, uh, and we're all, uh, yeah, very good. Show us the way. Oh, yeah, certainly. And he shows you off to a, uh, upstairs to a, a set of rooms. Mm-hmm. They're not anything like the, as nice as the <laughs> previous place you stayed. They are literally rooms with a, with a bed of straw. It's not <laughs> straw. It's more like rope and some kind of mattress on it. But okay. you don't know what's in the mattress. But it's close enough. There's no amenity, so to speak. Mm-hmm. And uh, you guys call it quits for the Think, night? Uh, uh, I and maybe I'm well. paranoid. Yeah. But I think we all should stay in one. Should we Gives go? Is this a one in three? Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, that's just something. <laughs> I just thought numbers that, in my head. That makes sense, I suppose. <laughs> it just made, number made, numbers made sense in my head, Matthias. Just like that. No, I... Wow. Ah. Yeah, sense. I said one third. So do two of us sleep in, on the floor, or do we bring our beds with us, or do we put make dummies no, to go on the beds? No, we sleep on the people? floor. We have stuff. We have our... We used to, we're used to sleeping outside on the floor. Well, then you can sleep in my room. I will sleep on the mattress, and you, you can sleep on That's the fine. Room. That's fine. Perfect. Yes, I know you're frail. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. If you had to, you could tell that the <laughs> what they what you would call a matches is more like a bedroll on top of a rope frame. Yeah, yeah. You could pull uh-huh. it off of the other rooms. And, and in the other it. rooms, I'm gonna stuff the beds up so they look like people. Yeah. Okay. I think I'll that's take a good whatever point. I can and stuff up the other two beds like that makes it look like there's people in the bed. A little, okay. A little escape from Alcatraz. That's great. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> And I'll take some of my hides that I kind of collect, and I'll just kind of put it up in there to make it look like there might be a, somebody in there. Okay. Okay. That's it, then. Okay. Get some rest. And you guys rest for the night. Okay. Uh, you are watching the Carpathian Adventure on Seven Sided Die. We will be right back. We'll be...
<laughs> you are watching Seven Sided Die's Carpathian Adventure. Welcome back. We join the rejoin the party the following morning in Zweitaborn, a seedy tavern in Salzburg. Okay, the next morning, uh, the sun comes up through the cracks in the wall, and uh, you guys have the day ahead of you before you're supposed to meet up with them the following night, unless you're doing it. I'm kind of disappointed nothing happened tonight. night. He went through all that work, <laughs> you know? I was really hoping somebody was going to get attacked in another room with bed, and then we could have got the jump on them, and we could have beaten the crap out of them. It would have been fun. Yeah. So, so where, save it for later. where have you been the last couple of days? <laughs> where were you? Um, I was just, uh, I was out in the mountains again, um, doing a little hunting, a little resting, and I needed to, uh, just needed to recharge. Hmm. You know, the last. Battle with the spiders and the coming back to the town and searching the mine and you know I, I felt as though I maybe I didn't have a lot to offer at the time wasn't feeling quite myself hmm. I needed to kind of center myself but now it looks like I, I wish I was around um, maybe we wouldn't have been in this situation or maybe it would have been a triple murder <laughs> you know. I, a double. I think more would have died, yes. Yeah. Maybe. Would have been more fun. There and might I'm not have worried been... about Balder. Concerned about Balder. I worry about Balder. <sighs> he, perhaps he saw one of these hanging up and, and has, has made off to. There's a good chance, right? To hide himself. Yeah, maybe. Can any of us message? Can you message? Uh. Mort Morton. Can. Morton can message. Okay. I, I cannot. Well, maybe once we can find Morton, we can reach out to Balder. Yeah, I do not. I do not know where he is. He he is not under assumption. As far as everyone else is concerned, Morton is some grand investigator mm. on the on the searching for the kidnapped parents. Okay. They think he's on the. On the up and up. And I don't think this is making this deal. I don't think it's necessarily going to remove <clears throat> you guys from your wanted status. I don't. I, I think after the deal, we need to hmm. leave. Which is problematic when we don't have our whole group together. Hmm. Okay. Um, here's a really important question who's, hold, who's holding the will? I believe Morton had it. Morton I, don't, had it. I don't know. No. No, Balder put it inside his armor. Okay, that's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> that's a problem. I will take a, as a... Given that the player is not present, if you wish to have it with you, you may. If you don't, that's... Okay. I'm yeah. Allowed but but as, as we were, were leaving the house, I... I and I turned him invisible. I could see it sticking from his breastplate. I pulled it oh, out. that's good. Because <laughs> I thought I just made a, a big mistake. No, no. So uh, it, is, it is secure in my in my goods, but we we have to understand that you know, based on what we saw last night, you know, it's it's not going to be the three of them and just the three of us. No, there will be many more. There will be many. Yes. So we need to be ready to deal with that. <laughs> okay. I, I will do my best. I, I did use many of my abilities to get us out of that house safely. I mean, I don't see why. But I should be able to. They would really try to pull anything strange if we have what they're looking for. I really don't understand how they would benefit from that whatsoever. Who are we to get in their way of their ownership or of their mind, well, right? I mean, of, right? Um, true, but the... Did you guys Returning tell... the kidnapped parents, uh, Aventor's parents, will, is, is a loose end. If they're, if they're alive, they can go to the authorities. To leave them alive would be a, a mistake on the part of the kidnappers. You think it would be to leave them alive? 
I don't, I don't think they will end up alive. What's okay. to keep them after we save them from going to the authorities? Or Staying anything? alive? Yeah. <laughs> or keeping them Keeping from... them alive, right? Yeah. Yeah. They say something, they end up dead. Yeah. Well, um, or maybe after we leave, they end up dead anyway. Has anyone told the youngest brother that he actually has ownership of the mine? Uh, when Morton spoke to him, he... He, he does not know that he should have it. He heard rumors, but his character is lacking in the in the drive to obtain such a thing. I think that is why his his other that his brother has taken it from him because he is weak. Well, what do you say we throw a little wrench into the plan and we go let him know, and let's see what he does. Is that unwise, Mattias? I, do, I can't imagine why it would be. Why it would be unwise? Yeah. You think we should let him know that he is the rightful owner of the mine? I believe that... Maybe he has... I believe that friend. for no other reason, I'm, informing somebody else of the situation sure. will... Add to our credence in the long run should way, things go wrong. Could be the right decision. I just... so I, I would tell him. Let's go tell at him. At this point. Let's do it. That's what we're going to do this morning. Okay. Let's go then. Lead okay. the way. I wasn't there. All right. Okay. You meander through the streets of... of... Of uh, of Salzburg, thank you. <laughs> so, where are the party? <laughs> they're, they're in Salzburg. You meander through the streets of Salzburg. Yeah, you can hand me that gentleman oh, yeah. there, and uh, Mr. Green and Mr. Yellow. It's going to be a shame to have to kill those gentlemen. I mean, they seemed like they were all right guys. Box right? Dinner. I mean, they just picked the wrong sides. I try to encourage people to, you know, I mean, follow their own path instead of working for somebody who can steals a mine and, you know? Mm. As I was trying to explain, these things happen in noble families. Uh, what, do you got in that their, what do you got in that there flask? What are you, what are you always nipping on there? Uh, <laughs> what, what is it? Whiskey? Bourbon? Yeah? yeah. Can I have a little? Huh. I'm just going to pour a little here. You You're always nipping on this. It's tasty. This doesn't make you t talk funny like the way you talk, does it? No. <laughs> you sure? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Crowded into the walled city at the base of a huge hill, Thank Salzburg's you, buildings are stout, tall, and well-constructed. The streets themselves are busy and narrow. You meander through it, made narrower by the plethora of market stands that crowd the lanes. The smell of freshly baked bread, cut meats, hang in the air, pungent yet delightful. I'm hungry. Maybe hungry. You find yourselves in front of a narrow but tall home. To the right of the door is a large, leaded glass window with diamond panes. A few of the panes are broken and have been replaced with shingles cut to shape. You can clearly tell that the home was once, the, once one of a comfortable gentry but has seen better days. What are you guys doing? I go up to the door. Mm-hmm. Knock on the door. Solid knock. <laughs> Go good talk. <laughs> <clears throat> Takes a few moments. <laughs> From inside you hear, Yeah, Yes, what do you want? What was his name again? Do you remember? Rupert. 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 Yeah. Rupert, is that you? Uh, uh, one moment. You hear some scuffling inside. 
Do you have to decide if it's you or not? <laughs> Eventually, about a few, about another half minute or so goes by, and eventually the door opens, and you you remember Rupert. I don't know if you met Rupert. No, I wasn't with him. I don't know if Mattias has met Rupert. I don't believe so, but I don't recall. Um, I don't think so either. Uh, Rupert answers the door, uh, and that's him. That's what he looked like. Actually, the right figure this time. <laughs> He's, he steps forward. Uh, I'm going to turn to Simon. Is this him? Uh, yeah. yeah. Hello. Um, uh, hello again. Uh, hi. We, we are back with some more information that maybe we weren't completely forthright. Rupert, do you have company in there? Last time. Well, maybe. my son. Your son? Yes. Yeah. Everything's okay, right? Yeah, I mean, to the extent that, you know. Okay. Well, can we come on in? Sons? We have some information for you. Um, I'm sure. Um, yes, come on in. Uh, he, he lets you come in. Roll a perception check, everybody. I thought you were going to like I'm killing it today. That's an 18. I you just walk in the woods. I perceive nothing. A little bit of <laughs> fresh air. You got five. I happened to see just out across the street. It looked like almost like town guards. Just a couple town guards standing there watching. Mm -hmm. I got a nine. Okay. So the three of you, he walks you in. How about inside? Seem anything out of like maybe like there's a scuffle or like maybe anybody else is in there with him? I roll an investigation check. Looking for like more than one place setting and things like that. Investigation. I think that's the same as perception for me. Uh, it shouldn't be. It's a no, it's intelligence first. Was so. yeah. Fourteen. Unless your intelligence it's is minus the same. one. Yeah, it's fourteen. Okay. Um, there, you don't see anything that's obviously a sign of a scuffle. Being escorted into the house, it's it's a pleasant enough house, but obviously it's not. It looks as though it could use a coat of paint. Mm -hmm. and furniture is a bit tattered here and there. And okay. Um, he says, oh, come on in, sit down. Thank you. Um, just so you know, we have some guard waiting out there for us, keeping an eye on this house. Oh. Just be aware. Um, oh, yes. Oh, the constabulary. Um, there was a scuffle over at my bro supposedly over at my brother's right. house, and they're yes. watching, I think, yes. my house as well. Yeah. Um, we're going to get right to the point here. Um, what would you do with yourself if you were to find out that you were the rightful owner of your father's mind this whole time? Would you be surprised? Um, pleasantly. Yeah? Yeah. What would you do with it? Would you run that mine? Oh, well, yes, I would run that mine. Would you run that mine well? Run the mine. As opposed to running it poorly? <laughs> Yeah. I don't think anyone sets out to run it poorly. But well, I don't people, know your name. But some people do end up running it poorly. And they intend to? Well, then not, shame on them. Not necessarily. <laughs> well, shame on them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. Your oratory skills continue to impress. <laughs> hmm. Well, um, we have reason to believe. Actually, it's it's more than reason to believe, that you are the rightful owner of the mine. Well, we have located your father's will. Really? We have possession of that will. Now, your brother, he doesn't want that will to exist. Right? He wants ownership of that will. He's been searching for that will. And in doing so, he has kidnapped a family and held them hostage as collateral for this will. Now, we have an arrangement to provide him with that will this evening in exchange for the lives of the people that he has held hostage. Now, you do with that information what you will. 
But that is what's I happening. I don't know. I don't know how to react to that at this moment. I'm, I'm shocked that my brother would go to such lengths. Are you I mean, really? Well, I mean, he's he's not altruistic or anything to right. such degree, but um, I wouldn't put kidnapping on his list of of uh, business techniques. Is, the is there any of your brother's associates that you think would try to push his hand and do this behind his back without him knowing? No, I'm a you know, just a, I'm, no, I try to stay out of family politics and squabbling and what have you. I just try and, you know, mind our own business and, you know, take care of people to the extent that I can. So as a man who could potentially have ownership, control over the lives of many men who depend upon working in that mine and for their livelihood of their families and for everything that's associated with it, you have a choice now to make the or right what? decision. Or what is that choice? I don't know what that choice is. That's up to you. But or we're telling you, you, that's for, as a man who could potentially be running his own mind, that's for you to figure out. The resourcefulness of a business owner, a powerful Well, I think I can owner. figure that out, that part out, but I don't have the will you say you I do. think it's all the same. I, I told you what we, I can tell you where we will be making this exchange. We, I'm not we, sure I we, want to know. We need you to help ensure that we are able to retrieve the, the Aventors successfully. That we have, we don't have the resources. So that your, bro- that your brother knows. That's your brother knows. Right outside. The problem is, is in, in, in obtaining this, in, in obtaining this information, we have put ourselves at risk with the town guard. Speaking of which, I'll kind of meander over toward, towards the window and, and look out and see if they're still there, if they have moved. Roll an investigation <laughs> check with advantage. <laughs> One and a two. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> you you don't see them. I don't see them. <laughs> um, I'll use an inspiration. Twenty-two. <laughs> Twenty-two. Um, you see four individuals, and they seem to be talking and somewhat motioning toward the house. I believe our time, or at least my time, is very limited here. Yes. We're going to head out. Um, do you have a back door to this place? Of course I do. Is it hidden? Here, you think this is a theater? No. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I was just hoping. I mean, can't, 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 uh... Blame me for asking, right? Um, yeah, our time to go. The, we're going to be meeting them this evening, and I tell him the name of the plaza and the time of day that we're going to be meeting, because I don't remember. Well, um, I mean, in, I, so, so I understand correctly. You're meeting <sighs> someone who's doing what? He's holding, your brother's men are holding this family hostage in order to keep the will, or to gain control over the will. That and you're shows going to meet with them to do what? To hand over the will and to get in these people safely. In exchange for release. In exchange for their release. I mean, other than contact the, the constabulary, I don't know what you, you can expect do me th- to do. You can do that. You figure this out. This is, this is what we have. And I'm gonna, I'll take the will, and where is And I'll take location? the will out, and I will show him the will. So why don't you just... Oh, because of the people who are killed captive. Yes. We need to ensure that their lives will be safe. We made a promise to their family that we will do everything we can to reta- return them safely. Safely. As, as best as we possibly can. And that is where our obligation is to. We have no obligation to this mine. We have no obligation to the ownership of the mine. We have no obligation to you or your brother. But what we don't have is that we don't have local support. We don't have perhaps additional men to ensure our safety and the safety of this family. We have just the three of us right now. 
against however many men that your brother has. If there's any way that you could turn the tides for us, well, well that I is mean, I don't, your challenge. This is not my... I, uh, uh, I mean, other than letting the constabulary know, I, where this exchange will take place, that I don't know what else to tell you. I mean, that's the only thing that comes I don't, to I don't mind. Know, I don't know what else he can do for us. I think he needs to figure it out. Hmm. I think that so, in mean, this what will... So, would there be in doing that, just that? In doing what? Oh, you you are... You could go and tell the, tell the guard. Uh, we probably should not be the ones to tell no, the guard. No, but that, that is possibly something that you could do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, uh... It's time for us to go. I am uh, not indeed. We're not staying much longer. <laughs> show us. Uh, can you show us of course, the way of to the back door, please? <laughs> he takes you around back, right here. <clears throat> it comes back around. Mattias, you go first. <laughs> Very well. I, I mean, I don't want Simon to go first. <laughs> turns turns to, uh, to, the, to their host and says, <laughs> "What? Huh? <laughs> what just happened?" <laughs> Oh. Matias turns to the host and says, May you find peace with whatever decision you make. I, 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 hope, I hope to. Um, <laughs> I mean, this is somewhat out of my, uh, out of my uh, realm of, of um, excuse me, of, of doing business, but um, I hope to. Well, that's, that's the case for many people in many ways, unfortunately. <laughs> Uh, okay. You're not the first to be learned to be faced with a decision seemingly beyond your uh, your own ken, and you shall not be the last. Uh, and then nodding, Matias walks out. Uh, walks out the door. Take a look around. Is it close clear? Matias looks around. <laughs> um. I, very well. I will. As soon as you leave, I will have my son go and contact the constabularies. Hmm. Perhaps you should tell them yourself. Yes. See, this is what I'm talking about. Well, I mean, he's my son. I mean, very it, no. You want to be the man to run this. You want to be the man who is going to be in charge mm-hmm. of all of this. You have to be the man in this situation, <laughs> uh, not a boy. He's a not man. a boy. I mean, he's an adult. He's a full adult. You. This. Document names you. He's a bit scruffy. I'm but, uh, really thinking that we should burn this document right now. No! You're not proving yourself to anyone here. It's time. Yeah. It's time to uh, prove yourself. Uh, and fix those broken windows out front. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, that's an uh, issue of, you know, priorities. And it's a porridge or windows. Windows or porridge. Porridge or windows. I mean, uh, uh, it's. it's it's Woo. a tough balance. That's good. Forgot to add whiskey t- in there. It's a tough balance. <laughs> but, um, uh, right. I, as I said, um, I will go to the constabulary. Okay. Immediately after this, I will go. Yes, that's what I'll do. Okay. <laughs> yes. Good. Uh, what, what, Mattias, is, is the coast clear? That's what I'm trying to determine. Roll an investigation check with that's advantage. This. With advantage. Yes, okay. please. I mean, you're you're actively looking, peering out of oh, door. Oh, that's a 19, then. Okay, the coast appears to be clear. You're like an alleyway behind the back of the house. It goes right and left. Okay, guys, you go go left. I'm going to go out the front door. Okay. Okay. Oh. Um, if you hear a loud noise, come around the house to the left towards the alleyway. Okay? And I'm going to start walking down the street in that direction. Oh, okay. okay. Sure. All right. So we're gonna do it. Uh-huh. All right. You guys go. I'll meet you out around around the side. Okay. Down the street. Yeah, down. Uh, down the street. Okay. okay. All right. Where is the front entrance? Okay. The front uh, entrance. Uh, you, they they two take off down the back. Okay. Yourself. You go out the front. Okay. Door. Right here, I think. Yep. Out the front oh, door, and the two of you guys are like that. I got my hood up, and I'm just going to make a right out of there. Okay, as you step out the front door, 
you notice a few guards standing by, and they say, um, excuse me, sir, would you stop for a moment? In low German. Um, mm. What is the meaning of this? Um, we're just investigating a crime, that's all. And you were just inside. Did you go in with some other individuals? Sure, I did. Are they still inside the yeah, house? Yeah, they're still inside the house. Oh, thank you very much for your time. Mm -hmm. And what's your name? <laughs> I'm not under investigation, am I? <laughs> no, is it a reason, all the more reason why you wouldn't want to give your name? I mean, you would want to give your name. You're not under any investigation. Mm, perhaps not. Hmm. My name is Borith. Well, thank you, Borith. Appreciate it. Yes. And I'm going to... I'm going to yep. be on my way. Um, yes. Take care, Borith. Thank you very much. I'm going to head past them, down the street this way. We're never going to Salzburg again. <laughs> <laughs> I did nothing wrong. <laughs> I didn't say you did. <laughs> okay. I'm just trying to give you time to get out of there. <laughs> if I tell them you're inside, they're going to go check out inside. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you wander down the street and you take off down the alleyway. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Roll a stealth check with advantage. Mattias, you too. This should be interesting. What, me? Well, you're, well, you're with him and you're kind of clanging along. So advantage for you is just normal. Well, straight yeah. roll. Yep, because disadvantage because of your armor and yeah. Okay, okay. So it's so just a straight. In that case, with the stealth. I got a nine because I'm rolling a nice gutter case. tonight. He got a nineteen and you got a nine. He's running around in full plate armor, <laughs> and you're louder than him. Fresh, fresh, He's stepping fresh, in every puddle fresh fresh and. Oil. Fresh oil. <laughs> he steps on a cat. <laughs> <laughs> You got it. Then he steps on a puppy's tail. Yeah. <laughs> Knocking over garbage I cans. That's hysterical. Yeah. Yeah. You guys are making your way down around a uh, around a, a bend and you see a few guards. This is the house you just exited. There were a few other guards. Which one These is the you, house that you exited? This is the exit one you just exited. Okay. This is where there were some guards around the front of it. Okay. Where Borinth ran into them, just kind of expanding upon mm -hmm. it. You guys are currently making your way down that way, and you see some guards up ahead. I'm also waking my way down around the same way, right? I think originally you turned the opposite. Well, direction. no, I think but I told you to go turned. left, okay. so I made a right. Yep, so you yeah. might have gone that way. You know what I mean? So, so it would be on different streets. We'd be at one house apart, and yep. we, I was yep. going to go so down and then meet up. your figure somewhere over in here. Okay, yeah, so I'm walking this way. Yep. Okay. What are you doing? Well, I, I'm going to, I see the guards going that way, right? Oh, they're not going. They're all just kind of like congregating around that area. There are some moving in toward the front of the house. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna take up kind of like come up around the corner so I can see down the next yep, alley. Sure I'm expecting can. to see them cross, and I'm just gonna kind of hold up right in this area. I look like I'm busy in my uh, my bag. I'm gonna I'm uh, pull my hood of my cloak over my head and just keep walking nonchalantly. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> roll a stealth check with advantage. If I see these guards start to move that way down the alley, That's I'm good. gonna. Try to interrupt them. Fourteen. Fourteen. Um, they seem to be looking at you rather closely. Um, not so much Mattias, but at you. You see the two of them kind of start to move forward. Sir, excuse me, sir. Yes, what is it? Uh, I was hoping you could help point me in the right direction. Um, uh, I'm looking for, and what was the name of the square that we were going to meet at? Mm. Earlier, I can't remember. I'm sorry. Whatever it be, I'm gonna say that particular square. I, I got it was uh, turned around. Canalization plots. Okay, I'm gonna tell them I'm I'm looking for where that is, and I got turned around in here, and I have these these hides, and uh, I'm selling these these hides and this meat that I just freshly caught. Like maybe you guys want to try a little something. I'm I'm hoping to try to get together. 
enough money to, to spend the night somewhere here mm. and here here try it's really you guys ah, look really hungry I appreciate here have a have a have a bite here That's, just take uh, you know and you don't you can have the first That's have very the first generous of you 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 you, you. <laughs> and then point to the other guy hey you. uh roll a persuasion check okay. <laughs> <laughs> i'm really bad at this or, oh no i'm really bad at this. <laughs> oh, oh dear. persuasion huh uh that's a three um, he's yes, plus uh, one. You, if you'll excuse us, I insist. <laughs> no, uh, please. I insist. Roll it in intimidation check. <laughs> okay. I'm better at that because I can use strength, right? Yes. So, uh, intimidation. So that's. That's a 21. Ooh, he says. Fine, sir. They're very good. They're Fine. very good. You, your friend, too. Come here. <laughs> Try. Uh, he, you guys look I've cold. You guys I've cold? It. I've got it. I've got it. You guys look cold. Here, I take out like a, like another high that is like, it goes around his like the shoulder. And he's like, what is with this guy? <laughs> <laughs> I pressure Sal. Okay. I roll another uh, intimidation, or roll a, per, a persuasion check, if you would, for the second guy. Okay, that's better. That's a 16. All right, he turns, and he's like, what's... What he, like, meat. What is meat. Meat. Shay tastes these fresh Fine, venison. Fine, I'll taste the meat. You see the two of them turn the opposite way. Oh, I'll try to. Uh, okay, <laughs> troll another stealth check. 15. 15. You managed to sculpt your way just past them and they don't see they seem to be somewhat fixated on whatever the heck is going on over here with these other officers at this moment and you guys manage to make your way off down the street once i see the other guys i'm gonna be like oh i have meat for sale meat and some furs some meat and furs they're like fresh uh, fresh vet you try it these other i insist just, these this other is my family recipe started going down this way looking do you think people would buy this if I go to the, the plaza? Do you think people would buy this at the plaza? The other two are like, um, it's, it's good, right? It's, it's fresh. Yeah, it's I killed that Thank yesterday. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. <laughs> Have a good day, sir. Okay. Thank the you very much. Which the plaza? Uh, the plaza. Yes, he which points way? out to Canales House in Plaza is um, up in that direction, about three, four blocks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Tell your friends. Tell your friends. I have meat and and furs. Fine, fine. You've got it. Thank you very much. Appreciate your time. Be a great citizen. Thank you. Enjoy v uh, Salzburg. Be careful out Vienna. there. Be careful no, out there. All of it. <laughs> Can we get back to work now? Yes. Did you see anything? No, I didn't see anything. I just... the t you guys managed to make your way off through the streets of Salzburg. <laughs> Meandering wow. your way through. Mm-hmm. That's very close. Yeah, I'm gonna I'll meet up with them eventually at, and I'm gonna kinda head the way that I saw them going or try to catch up to them. Okay. So eventually you guys do manage to link up somewhere in the streets of Salzburg. What are you doing? I'm too close. I should stay out of sight for a while. Go back to the inn we stayed at. And uh, wait for nightfall, I guess, right? I suppose. Unless there's yeah. anything else. And we listen, we're just gonna. We took the chance with him. If he wants to do something, if he really, really, truly wants ownership of that mine, he will come and get it. Otherwise, the better man wins in this situation. Right? The man yes. who's putting the yeah. effort in, who's yeah. putting the work in, he's gonna get it. Without a doubt, however, I feel. <laughs> Even if we write this wrong, I may still be wanted for the crimes well, that were committed. I have a feeling there's going to be more crimes to be committed, but huh. we'll see. This is our only chance. This is what we have laid out. This is the plan that we have going. And yeah. Do you have a better idea as far as how to no, clear your name? Not I any. Mean, not any. You guys more. did kill those people. Uh, that's what my plan led to. Yeah. So maybe if we write this wrong in some way. Maybe perhaps be fortune sort of, will right. shine on us and exactly be merc merciful yeah. for Woden says so that it will be who who Woden Woden just okay 
Go with it. Go with it. Huh? To Woden. Yeah, to Woden. To Woden. <laughs> and I give him a big slap on the back. <laughs> like, <laughs> I like hearing that. Okay. So we, we're off to the inn. Okay, so you make your way back through the crowded streets of Salzburg, and eventually you find yourselves back in the Zweiterbord. The coughing and gagging continues in this <laughs> petri dish mm-hmm. in in this seedy section of town. Constitution check. <laughs> and um, it's midday yeah. at this point after your meanderings through town and and what have you. Just try to lay. I just need to lay low. Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't know what you guys want. I mean, I would recommend just going to the room and okay. hiding out in the room. I'm going to stay down in the bar to keep an eye on who goes in the direction of the rooms. Make sure that nobody follows him up there. Mm-hmm. Mattias. While well, you guys are doing that, I'm just be right back. Yes. You're still on. A drink. How about a drink and some food? And, uh, that could be welcome, yes. It's probably been a while since we've caught up. I suppose. Don't you ever take that armor off, man? <laughs> I do. I just haven't said it when you were around, actually. Yeah. Every, everything is so pale Speaking underneath. Speaking of petri dishes, <laughs> can you imagine yeah. what's going on under there? <laughs> yeah. It's fuzzy. <laughs> um, yeah. So what are, you, what, what are you doing after this, Mattias? Are you following us all the way into the Utenberg Mountains and on my, what you probably consider a silly quest? To be honest, I'm, I have a reason to go further into the, uh, the Empire myself. Yeah. There's no reason, there's no reason for me to leave the group. Good. I, as long as, yeah, as long as you go past the regions that are of, that are of, that are of significant, sufficient importance, I will gladly follow you. Well, After it's... all, I have need of I need to pass through many many lands in order to gather the support necessary for my king to both win this war, the civil war and fight Ozma. Yeah. Well, we're always better off with you here. I wish the others I'm were. To, I wish the others I'm were here. To hear that you think so. Of course, of course. You know, I I give you a hard time. Seem... I give you a hard time, but you're you're. A, you're a hell of a fighter, and you're a good man, and you're... It may seem as though I'm dismissive at times, but I do respect your opinion for it. Good. I simply... I have difficulty overlooking past disagreements. I get it. I work at it, but it is not a quick or simple process. Sometimes you gotta forgive. And you gotta forget. When it comes down to it, Nadius, I got your back. And I know you got mine. I know we've had past disagreements, but that doesn't mean that I wouldn't slay anyone down for you. And we listen, we have to we have to live our lives as we have it, because it's short. It's short, Maddie. Quite true. So very true indeed. Let us say we uh, accept the world as it is and hope that we can make bring it just a little closer to how it should be. Exactly. I'm going to uh, going to send the barmaid up to bring some food to our friend to Zyman, and then uh, I think we got our work cut out for us this evening. You would likely be right, unfortunately. Best to get started early, I suppose. Yeah. Hey, let's hope we weren't followed. I'll take a big sip of my drink. Big, big, big you're, you're, you're of my drink. We mm. Well, it would suck for them, wouldn't it? It would suck for them. Start. 
right at the bottom of this drink. I'll drink to that. Mm. I sent some food up to, I called the barmaid over, sent some food and drink up to Zyman. Tell them the room. It's very nice. And I say, do something about that cough. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Oh boy. That guy dies first. Just saying. <laughs> Why are you showing us all this? It's not fair, Tom. You're not supposed to show us all this. These you're, are just common folk you're walking the street, yeah, right? They're just walking the street. Clearly <laughs> railroading us in the direction of not fighting these people. <laughs> Yep. Do they look like, or do the figures look like guards or thugs? Um, Night falls. It's a mix. It's a mix. <laughs> Night falls. And. You guys are up. What are you doing? All right. Um. I'm gonna go upstairs and knock on Diamond's door. Say it's time. Hmm. I'll okay. hold on to this onto the will. Yeah. Perhaps I should not be right with you two. Maybe I should stay a little bit back. I also don't want you to get picked off by mm. sitting too far back. <clears throat> I think strength in numbers right now. There's only three of us. I hope not to. Um, I'm gonna go up to like. Does this room have a window in it? Uh, sure. Can I see out the window? Is does it peer down on this on the plaza where we're meeting? Not no, on this particular far. plaza. Okay. No, but it does peer down into. Um, this one peers down into an alleyway hmm. to the back. Okay. Do, do I see anybody out there? Uh, roll an investigation check. That's an eight. Oh, a ten. A ten. Sorry. Plus you one investigation. I don't think so. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, I think it's time, and I, I think we should stick together. Okay. 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 All right. Ready, Matthias? I think so. Okay. Let's go. Okay. You meander your way through the streets. Do you have any way of disguising yourself? No. There's nothing like that? Okay. Put your cloak up. Yeah. Hood up. Oh, they're Put gonna cloak, yeah. Yeah. pick rub, me out right away. Rub some dirt on my face or yeah. something. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, Morton who has disguised self. So. Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay. <sighs> so, um, you meander your way through the streets of of Constantinople. Oh, God, I mean through. <laughs> yeah. Um, sorry. Boy, that would be a, a long way off. Uh, through the... Sh- Streets of Salzburg. Salzburg, thank you very much. <laughs> it's like a recurring theme. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Where are we? <laughs> what happens when you take a session off? <laughs> Where the heck are we? Yeah. We're in Salz- through the streets of Salzburg on Tom's geographic uh, class of, of, <laughs> of Thursday nights. Uh, <laughs> and eventually you, you see a whole bunch of people in the streets just. And they don't look like a bunch of, I mean, they're not lined up against, they're kind of like <laughs> in gaggles, yeah. sitting around talking. This is the plaza that you were talking about, and you're approaching from that end over there, we'll say, for the sake of argument. Like this way? Yeah. We're walking sure. this way? Yep. And you pass some individual, they're clearly just a bunch of thuggish night mm-hmm. creatures mm-hmm. hanging out in that general area over <clears> there, and you see off in the distance, uh, uh, it's pretty dark, but you see what generally appears to be the shape of Mr. Green and Mr. Uh, Yellow off in the distance over there. Mr. Green and Mr. Yellow. I believe uh, uh, you have something that we're looking for? 
And I believe we have something that you're looking for. How loud do you say it? You're, are you there when you say it, or do you walk you up? Know, I'm, I'm, I'm right in that area. Um, right? I see him, those are them down at the end. Yep. Yep. They turn and they walk. And I'm like, I'm you. like still leisure. I'd say I'm still leisurely, like strolling. You're not shouting. Are you shouting? No, no. I'm, I'm just like, okay. no. Like I was hoping to meet them more towards the middle. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. Because I'm, I like we're still. Sure. We'll I'm like, bigger. just like strolling and yeah, um, like that. I don't think it's um, boring, correct, yeah. Mr. Purple, mm -hmm. and Mr. Red. I don't think it's safe to meet here. Why is that? Um, there's a. A lot of guards, a constabulary um, okay. in the area. It's just, uh, it's not safe. Make a suggestion. Um, you didn't seem comfortable with my last suggestion, so I'm somewhat hesitant to make a suggestion. We'll make another one. <laughs> and there's another plaza not too far from the. from the warehouses, but not directly in the warehouses that you were concerned about, where we could meet and say, uh, from the time it would take to walk here to there, where no one would notice and no one could also alert anyone else. It might take 10 minutes to get there, to maybe 15 at the outside. Okay. Right. And we could make the exchange there. What do you say we walk together? I think that's a great idea. Let's do it. It's a lovely night for a stroll. Trust. Yeah. I think that's lovely a lovely night for a stroll. Uh, mm -hmm. Mr. Purple, are you amenable? Of course. Mr. Red, are you amenable? I'm going to take his silence as yes. Yeah, he's the silent. Yeah. The silent type. It's the yeah. armor he's in. <laughs> yeah. He yeah. keeps his face mask yes, down all the time. Yeah. <laughs> he may not even be in there. We don't even know. <laughs> he seems to be walking on its own. So we take we assume that he's in there. <laughs> Distracted youth. Lead the way. <laughs> Very well. Uh, follow me. That's uh, quite mm -hmm. a strategy there. So, um... How was your day in Salzburg? He says <laughs> as you're wandering. It's uh, it was an interesting one. Eventful. Eventful. You know our friend here. I mean the one that you like drawing pictures of. Um, he's made uh, a lot of friends around town, and they're always they're trying to find him, and um, they seem to be they seem to be around every corner. <sighs> I have become very popular as of late. You know, our stance is it's extremely the same as it was last <laughs> night, right? We're we're looking to we're looking to help some people, make a difference, and be on our way. Well, perhaps you were doing just that. I hope so. But it's tough to know these days. These are these are these are trying times. How so? Well, there's good and there's evil, and sometimes those lines blur, and you just have to try to trust. Trust that you're doing the right thing. You guys meander into this square with them. Uh, look around. See if I see any guards, you didn't anything see any like that. Guards at all? Okay. Um, I am. As I'm looking around, um, I still want to say a really cheesy line. I'm not going to do it anyway. Right? Um, I'm going to say just kind of to myself real quick. I'm just going to be like. Woden, give me some divine sense, and uh, I'm going to cast divine sense. And Ooh, help me out. All right, so um, I can detect good and evil. So at the end of the next turn, you can sense anything affected by a hollow spell or knowing the location of any celestial fiend undead within 60 feet. Detect good and evil. Um... So it's, I mean, it's, I think it's limited to those 
like right so celestial fiend undead mm-hmm. is it to detect good and evil comma no it's well it's it says we you can detect book? good and evil not uh yeah good and evil mm-hmm. okay um and what's the range 60 feet um I don't use alignments, but I would say you definitely detect evil in the sense of to the extent that someone can be not good. Okay. Does that make sense? Sure. Where do I get that sense from? The two individuals you're walking with, and as you're approaching, you see two other individuals in front of you. Okay. They're full of malfeasance. Mm. (laughs) Does that make sense? I mean, they're not... It's okay. That classic D and D lawful it. evil lawful. Okay, but that's okay. Chaotic, but no, that's okay. They're, they're definitely not right. good people. If they were good guys and they thought they were doing the right thing right now, I wouldn't get that vibe. Well, that doesn't necessarily mean they don't think they're doing the right thing. I mean, evil mm. people. And okay. what I've said, you know, yeah, the right evil thing for people them. don't necessarily <laughs> yeah. think what they're doing is. Did Simon evil. or Mattias glow at all to me? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Okay. Okay, because yeah. they've done some pretty crappy things. Yeah, but I, I think. <laughs> and again, just yeah. you wait, and that's why. <laughs> Here's Osmodius yeah. standing in front of you, right. just okay. it's like blinding you when you detect evil. Okay, um, it's it's not like that. Does that make sense? But you get yep. a sense to the extent that you can distinguish that they're probably not good. Okay. Okay. And who was at Rupert's house before? You were. Just just myself, yeah. Roll a perception check with advantage. Mm-hmm. Fifteen. Fifteen. You recognize one of the individuals. As one of the sons' cohorts, perhaps? As one of the sons. As one of the sons. Actually, one of the ones son? coming towards us. The two Rupert's individuals, son? actually, you recognize as Rupert's sons. Those are the sons of Rupert. That's interesting. Mm. Well, we'll see what happens here. Um, I'll call out. Gentlemen. Yes. Is your father here? No, of course not. Of course not. No, I wouldn't get him involved in anything messy like this. Messy, huh? No. You got what we came here for? Of course we do. Let me see. He motions toward the building to his right. A carriage comes out. They even provided you with a horse, should you desire it. Pulled out by another individual. They're both in the back. Show me. Individual. He motions to him. He comes over and he flips up the back of the cart. Flips a, a, a cover up off the back of it. Mm-hmm. And there you see two bound individuals laying in the cart. Untie them. But alive. Well, that's what I'm trying to find out. They seem alive. Um, you can check them yourself to ensure they're alive. That wasn't part of our deal. They are alive. I want to see them alive. Look or for the yourself. Deal's off. They're there. Look for yourself. I'll look over the side of the car. You are too stubborn sometimes. No. Do they have something around their mouths or? Oh yes, they definitely. Pull, pull whatever's over their mouths up, off. <sighs> they are alive. Both of them. Yes. Are they who they should be? What is your name, good sir? Uh, 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 my name is Aldous. If he tells the truth, it is who we are looking for. And the other? Well, I presume it's his wife. And the other? And uh, My name is Young. Yeah. These are our Neb's parents, I believe. Um, I'm, I'm, Neb, Neb is my sister. Oh. Said, says Young. She Alter says, ah, I am uh, Neb. I heard you say Neb. Yes. Neb, Neb is my daughter. She has, she enlisted us to, oh, to well, save thank, you. Well, thank her profusely. Uh, yeah. well, We're going to get you out of here. 
We're going to get you out of here. Yes. Okay. Move the cart on down the street. Um, he motions toward the individual. No, not you. Zion. Okay. Oh, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll take the car. Start walking now. Sure. Okay. The way that we came from? Um, you have what we wanted. I do. And may we have it now. Once he's a little bit down there. Uh, that wasn't part of our bargain. He, he's, got, he's going already, right? Yeah, I'm walking. I'm walking. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. As he's, as he's getting further around, I'm stalling a little, right? And I'm going to pull, I'll pull it out from inside where I'm carrying it. Okay. As he's getting down, right? Mm-hmm. As he's walking away. Very well. You see some more people emerge from some of the buildings because they seem somewhat trepidatious at this point. I'm only interested in the safety of these people and the safety of my group. I understand that. This isn't a ploy, but the more of you that keep coming out of these buildings, I'm not (laughs) going to be happy about it, and you're not going to like what happens. So if you want this piece of paper, back off and let us be on our way. We have zero interest in your business tidings. We want these people safe out of an oath that we made to them and their family. Okay, so you are down the road with the cart? A little, a little bit. Other way, I suppose. Is that farther? Yeah, yeah, yeah there? I guess that's about it. Yeah. Okay, Mattias, where are you? Um, better be next to me. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I presume so. <laughs> you better be next to me, Mattias. Yes. You in there, Mattias? Oh. <laughs> uh, just, there's one more guy who came out over here. Okay. I'm going to yeah, say, Mr. Yellow? Yes. Uh, Mr. Yellow is like, um, yeah, yes. I'm going to hold it out for him. Mr. Yellow comes forward. We have our safe passage out of here. Yes, you do. If this is what it's supposed to be. It is. I hand it to him. Another gentleman comes forward. He casts a spell. Is it? Yeah, I'm, I'm giving it to him. Well, he just wants to. He's confirming. Yeah. He di- you can t- if you can see from a distance, you can tell he's detecting magic. Mm-hmm. He nods. He says, I ho- "Mr. Yellow says, um, I hope we can have a drink again sometime." I'd like that. You're good men. Make sure you're on the right side. We will. Thank you very much. I'll take a couple steps backwards. Oh, Mattias, just okay. We're good, Mattias. <laughs> <laughs> we're not having it. We'll we'll discuss that over that beer. Okay, my good friend. I I'm, gonna, I'm gonna pat him on the. Dunk dunk dunk. <laughs> and I'm gonna start backing away. Mm-hmm. Right, Mattias, gonna back away with me. I suppose. Okay. <laughs> I can just turn around. Oh, I'm not. T- I'm not turning my back on them yet. Neither am I. Okay. I'm just saying we could. Okay. They back up. Okay. They see that you're concerned. Whoever this was, he disappears inside. They back up. Obviously, in trying to indicate that they're not threatening. Okay. Uh, Mr. Yellow. Yeah. I can. One last, one last question, favor. If you have any influence on in allowing us to get out of the city with the local authorities. If you can give us a night, I'd be much appreciated of you. Um, he turns to Mr. White. Mr. White nods. He said, um, there's a building on, uh, he gives you an address. Okay. He said, go there. There'll be a cart, come by in the morning. Can pick you up if you want. Can take you out of town. We'll be there. Very well. Hmm? Much obliged. Hmm. Mr. White nods. Mr. Yellowton. Much obliged ourselves. Alright. Gonna turn. I turn to Warren. Walk to the cart. So what, they, so what did they did the guards not show up? I'm pretty sure they have influence over the guards in some way. I'm afraid you might be right. Money is power. Yeah, one does not own the most profitable in a line and not mm-hmm. have influence in the city. Okay, you guys head where? I'm going to head to the cart. And then hop to on. That, and then to that address. And then well, we'll take them to their home. Yeah, take them back. We to still their have home. some news to break these yeah. individuals. 
unlash them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You take them back to uh, the house where you met the caretaker, to Nevin Aventur's house. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you meander through the streets. It's a quiet night. It's very, very quiet. The streets are very, very quiet. Uh, the stout buildings as you meander in between them. There are some lights here and there, but for the most part, it is it is deathly, deathly quiet at this point. Mm-hmm. Take them to their house. Are you okay? It's on the cart yeah. right, I guess, or yeah. whatever we are. Um, Alta says, I'm, yes. Um, do you take the blindfolds off of them? And, oh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Unbind yeah, them yeah, yeah. and yes, what have you at this point. Yeah. They're, they're rubbing their hands and arms, and the father goes over and hugs his son. I haven't seen you in several days. It's, How many I, of them is there? How many in, in, in the cart is two, there? Two. There's two, two of them. Father and son. Father and son. Okay. Mm. I yes. thought it was father and daughter. Mm. Or father and mother. I thought that was what it was. Oh, okay, anyway. Uh, yeah. Father and son. Father and son. Um, Yep, father and son. You make your way toward, and eventually you find, uh, you come to the house that you had been at once before. And um, uh, they go up and they check the door and it's locked and they rap on it. And the caretaker, a few moments pass and the caretaker comes to the door Mm -hmm. and they very, very quickly embrace as as if friends from who hadn't seen each other in a while and were mm-hmm. concerned about each other's welfare would embrace and and she quickly brings them in and he turns and um, do you want to come in sure uh, for, for a moment just a um, moment um uh, please i mean you res- rescued i think rescued us as best i know uh, as joyous as time as it may seem we have bad news for you Unfortunately. We were truthful when we said that your daughter commissioned us to help you. Unfortunately, your daughter has passed. What do you mean she's passed? On the road from whence, where she found us to us reaching the city, she lost her life. And we wanted to honor out the oath that we gave to the promise that we gave to her, that we would help you. We brought her body to the cathedral in the city. And uh, I don't, I'm not gonna remember the name of the priest that we left her with, but we left her with the, with the holy man of the, of the cathedral there, her body. Alters doesn't even so make it in, into the main room. He just literally sits oh, I was, oh, yeah, right I on wait the floor. Till, yeah, the hallway. Okay. I am sorry, this is difficult news, but I thought best just to deliver it. Additionally, I don't think you should stay here any longer. Why? I think Well, I mean, this is probably a stupid thing to ask, but... Um, I don't think this city will be safe for you in the future. These men, they're not good men, obviously. I think you should restart your life and take your family and move elsewhere and start new. And get out of the city. I, mean, I, I wish things were so simple. I wish that I, I wish they were too, but I don't think you're given much choice. You are a loose end to these people. They have what they want now, and I don't think that they're going to leave you alone. I do not think they're going to leave you alone. So your option is to take the cart that we have outside now, pack up everything you can, and get out of town. Do you have the Do you have the funds to support um, to, um, to support yourselves for any length of time? I've just walked back in the house. I have to, I've been away for. Uh, it's, I this, don't even know how long. This ordeal is not over yet. Until you are out safely, we can help you. I'll I'll give them twenty five gold. That's very I kind. Twenty five gold. I mean, that's in- amazingly generous of you. Take the gold, and go. Matias then presses a, a bag with another twenty into his hand. You, you have been. I mean, from a half hour ago, I thought I was, it was just awaiting death, and now strangers that I have never met are pressing gold into my palms. I mean, thank you. It's the least that we could do. Believe me. But you have to leave now. 
gather your things well. and go. We're going to head out on our way. They turn to their caretaker, and she nods as if in agreement, and um, we'll do so immediately. Okay. Um, Get your stuff. Let's go. We will. We will. <laughs> and they quickly take off about the house, gathering what they can. Okay. I'm going to wait till they gather their stuff. I'll, I'll help them load it into the back of the cart and get them into the cart. It takes about a half hour ish to gather as much as they can possibly can. Clothes, personal items, a few um, pieces of small furniture and what have you. Nothing extravagant. They were he was a merchant class at best. Mm -hmm. And uh, he says, um again, um forty five gold, I think it's more than I've had in well, it should help you restart your life. Yes, I hope now so. go. We will be gone. And he turns and he starts to ride off with Young and the May caretaker. The blue sky smile down upon your journeys. And you too. I can't thank you enough. Whatever your name is, Tin Man. <laughs> Spread the word of the champions of the sun. The man of metal. Champions of the sun. <laughs> champions of the sun. <laughs> Matthias, thank you, Matthias. And and you see him ride off into the the cart disappears into the streets. Let's gonna pull them into the house. Back into his house? Yes. Okay. What are we, we should, doing in here? I think we should stay here and see if they come looking for them. I think you're right. Better to, you don't want to go to the safe house that you, they offer? We will. The, do they offer? No, they, 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 they won't care if it's violating the terms of our agreement. They'll think that we just leave the that we're just leaving the town and, and, and forgetting about these people entirely. They'll I, expect that the they'll safe house is where the eliminate them without it, with impunity. Yeah, the safe house is where the cart was going to meet us. We could be there in the morning for the cart, but we don't have to stay in their safe house. I think if we stay here, Indeed. we can wait and see if fair these men decide to show up to try to enough. tie up their loose ends. And I haven't killed anybody in a long time. Okay. And I'm feeling like a ready for a well, brawl. All right. <laughs> I, can't, I, can't say that that, I can't say that I would regret eliminating a few of the, a few loose ends of our own. Okay. Uh, so. I can't say that they that they wouldn't be righteously eliminated. So what do you say we, you know, get comfortable, set a little Lie bit of a trap? Wait, and so to speak. Yeah. Sounds very good. Okay. Uh, I will find a bedroom. I'm, I'm going to stay in the main, comfortable. main room, I guess. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to have a, a, a fire going okay. and a can, one candle lit on the opposite side For of the room. For want of a better house, then we'll use this. Okay. If that makes sense. Tom is probably like, you never know where you guys are going to I don't, but this. that's okay. It's fun. It's still fun. I, I don't. I've I changed hope, literally three I hope times. this guy today. shows up. <laughs> <laughs> One second, I think you're going to kill everybody. The next second, you're trying to make peace with everybody. <laughs> where we were, listen, it was, there was a lot of guys. There's it's all three good. of us. It's all good. Right? I mean, as we're, we're sitting in the we're sitting in the room, we're talking about it. There was three of us, and there was a lot of guys. I mean, granted, I would have killed ninety percent of them, but there's still that ten percent. I feel if we ever need to get away, I can cover our retreat good enough, where we will not be followed. Maybe. That's good to know, though. We'll see. Yeah. Hopefully, it never comes to that. Hopefully. Okay, what are you guys doing? The night seems to be passing out eventfully. I'm sitting in the darkness, in the corner of the room, not sleeping, just waiting. I'm, okay. sleep I'm sleeping. Okay. Like, wherever the main entrance is. <laughs> the main entrance would be right here, in this case. Okay, so it doesn't go into, it goes into a hallway. Eh, I know that's very 20th century, or actually post Oh, it's okay, they'd have to go past me if I'm still in this room. Right, they'd have to go past me. So I'm just sitting sure. in a corner. Uh, I think so. Uh, there's a door here into the room with Zyman's in, but... Oh, okay. 
I'm going to sit right somewhere. Right you could have sat. No, you could have taken yeah, a, yeah. a chair into the hallway. Yeah, way. I'm just sitting right there. Okay. And I'm in the darkness. Okay. There's a candle lit on this side. I'll make sure I lock over here. I'll make sure I lock the door in the room. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and uh, we're just waiting. Keeping my alertness ready. Okay. The night passes. Roll a con check. Just for just him. Because he's trying to stay awake all night long. Oh, uh, 17 plus. Oh, wait, that's. Twenty-two. Okay, plus it doesn't matter. It's yeah. good enough. Twenty-two. Okay. Um, I don't know if I add my proficiency to that. Well, your con. It's not a save. Oh yeah. It's a well, check. Oh okay. Yeah. Okay. So I only added five. So that's good. Okay. The so you're still good. Twenty-two easily. Yeah. Well, not you, but you did. Yeah. And so you're awake. You're groggy, but you're awake. The next mm -hmm. morning, I think you gain a point of exhaustion, but you're awake. Okay. And um, nothing happens overnight. Okay. All right. <sighs> I'm gonna wake everybody up and let them know that we're gonna head to that. I mean, it's not like part. it's it's dark still, mm -hmm. but you right, gather yeah. it's morning. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna gather everybody up and we're gonna head to the cart now. It was a great idea staying here. That Good. bed was luxurious. That, that kitchen chair was not luxurious, <laughs> but no one showed. Gotta say, I'm a little disappointed. I'm I sorry did not for your loss. Them to, be so, to actually honor their agreement. Oh. Yeah, well, hopefully they made it out of the city. We um, shall see what awaits us at the cart. Yes. Yeah. Let's 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 get going. Put the fire out. Okay. Take some of my meats. <laughs> okay. You wander out the door. Yeah. You don't need to roll a perception check. You see a couple thugs sitting across the street. You don't recognize them per se, but you guys are not mm -hmm. stupid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You suspect that they were from the... They actually look a little bit surprised to see you. Me? Or in general? You, <laughs> the three of you stepping yeah. out of the front of this house. Hmm. Fellas? Yes. Lord. What brings you Just this in the neighborhood. the neighborhood? Just in the neighborhood. That's good to know. That you're keeping a watchful eye on our friends. Neighborly. Neighborly like. Neighborly like. Yes. Neighborly That's good. like. Okay. Well, we're going to be on our way. Uh, Unless, of course. No. Neighbor. Okay. <laughs> Let us go. And, uh, yeah, going to start heading towards. Start heading towards the cart, right? Yeah. Okay. You meander through happens. the streets. It's that that period between uh, the um, night and the beginning of morning, not mm -hmm. of twilight and, and sunrise. Dusk. It's that the gray period of the morning. You can hear the church bells chiming in the background as you meander through. And eventually you find yourself in, in front, winding through the streets. You find yourself in front of a and a rather nondescript house and there's a cart parked out front with a with a large canvas draping over it and uh, there's a couple individuals sitting on a, on a porch stoop in front of it one of them you recognize uh, instantly as he just described himself as Mr. White mm -hmm. okay. he says um, he gets up as you're approaching he Mr. Says, White uh, good morning um, I was told your name's Borinth Borinth you're Mr. Purple. Mm, yes. And you're Mr. Red. Um, I yeah. am. I've got a stack of these for you, by the way. And he hands you a bunch of posters. <laughs> <laughs> Just uh, for your memories of... I perhaps will good. start a collection. Yes, mm. well. Yeah. Memories um, of your fair city. <laughs> so you're really... Uh, Mr. Yellow told me you're planning to raise an army to fight an evil that's coming here. This so, is true. So I've been told. This is true. Yeah. Raising an army is an expensive endeavor. It is. That it is. Um, Perhaps you may be an investor. Yeah. Or better yet, we don't need your money. We need men willing to fight for the city and defend it. 
perhaps you can change some of your past ways and maybe do some good for some people here. Well, it almost makes me feel like as though as what I was going to offer you is uh, probably not worthy. I mean, uh, Mr. Yellow, would you please? Mr. Yellow steps forward and he hands you a bag. He goes, uh, I thought that um, given our relationship here and how easily we resolve things, um, might uh, aid your endeavor. I appreciate that. Mm-hmm. Just remember that do you this take the bag? Yeah, I'll take it. This isn't you buying. No, of course. What not. we brought you. This is this is going to some good. This is for us to help raise our army. Of course, of course. To feed men willing to fight. Understandable. And please, you you have great influence in this in this city. Be on the lookout. Be on the lookout because evil is coming. And. We and do claws, want to defeat it. And its claws reach out, looming. You never know where you might find it. It's true. Well, I do appreciate it. We are sending men to meet outside. Oh, I'm not going to remember this. Uh, let me look at the map. Where we were sending men. Where were we sending men? M- Mattias, where were we sending men? Outside of Constantinople? Right? I believe it was outside of Constantinople. I believe it was Thessaloniki. Yes, Thessaloniki. Very good. Mm. All right, we, oh, we're... Thessaloniki. That's not outside of Constantinople at all. That's, the, that's an entirely separate part of Greece. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's not that far. Oh, okay. Well, Thessaloniki is where we're sending men to gather. All things considered, it's not that far. Just a quick all hop across the Aegean. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so Thessaloniki is where we're sending men to gather <clears throat> to form an army against Emperor Ghazi. Uh, and every man counts. Well, hopefully that will help raise some men. I hope so. Um, what will happen of your brother? My brother? My brother. He's somewhere in here. What do you mean? Rupert's brother. What will happen to Rupert's brother? Rupert's brother. Yeah. Mr. White's not Rupert, right? Oh, Mr. I thought White. he was. No, no. Mr. White is definitely not Rupert. No. Not Mr. Rupert, but the, the one who inherited the... Rupert is the oh. father of Mr. White. Oh, okay. All right, my bad. Never mind. The, the, but the brother who should have gotten the mine, he is Rupert. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Which is Mr. White's father. Which is Mr. White's father. Uh-huh. One of the two. Okay. Bro- one of the two brothers. So your uncle... No, my father. <laughs> no, what will happen to your uncle now your, that your uncle it is found that yes. he was... What will happen to your uncle? Now that he, if he no longer has the mind, you mean? Correct. I don't know. Just remember the importance of family. I I'm not saying to, to give him, you know, what he was originally deserve because I honestly don't think he would have run the mine very well for you and your family. However, maybe a man deserves a purpose. Fair enough. Right? And what would you recommend? I mean, uh, maybe a position in the mine. Maybe, Maybe some sort of position in the family business. Something to give a man purpose. Just like we have purpose here. I think that is honorable. Very good. Well, we are going to be off. I appreciate the donation to our cause. And the, uh, they'll escort you as far away from town like, and then uh, leave you with the cart and the horse as well. Sounds good. Simon? Thank you. Hop in the back. Oh. Well, you're the one we have to hide, Simon. Oh, yeah, Get yeah, in the back. Okay. <laughs> I'll hop in the back. <laughs> Cover myself up. Yeah. <laughs> Safe travels. <laughs> Born, Mr. Purple and Mr. Red. We have some friends that we um, have misplaced. Have misplaced <laughs> within this endeavor. Um, one of them you are familiar with in the picture. He's followed around by a small monkey that goes by the name of Georgie. Um, yes, um, some of our associates did see him in a tavern. Yes, and another man who likes to. Sing songs all the time. If you see any of them, 
Just no, send them down the road in the direction we're headed. Very well. We'd if they're true it. friends, they have a way of I'm sort sure. of showing up. I'm sure they do. Yes. Seems to be that way for many of us. Most of the time when you need them, uh, sometimes when you don't. And uh, Mr. Yellow, Mr. Uh, yes, Green. Yes. You're a good man. Well, thank you very much, um, Borinth. I'd say uh, treat them well and uh, give them maybe a, some more greater purpose as well. But they're yes, good. Sir. They've earned my respect and my trust. Um, very well, Borinth. Thank you. All right. I'm just going to hop on the cart. What do you say, Horse Master? Take the reins? <laughs> Gladly. All right. And you ride out of Salzburg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're riding out. Somehow. We didn't die. Didn't get arrested. Didn't get arrested. Did not, not yet. Yeah. Not, not yet. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> The day is young, right? Yes. <laughs> As you're riding out of town, the town slowly gets busier. As the sun is coming up, you see the people moving to start setting up their plazas and what, ha what have you, but you ride out of town nonetheless. I can't see anything. I'm all covered up. Do you think those <laughs> posters were real? I'm going to say, like, uh, as we're riding forward, we're going to say into the back. Do you think those posters were real? They seem legitimate. Yeah. yeah. You don't think that it was him just trying to smoke you out? Mm. I mean, the guards were looking for us. Uh, it was pretty obvious, but I mean, maybe under their dime. I don't we, know. we we barely escaped the house. The, the city guard yeah. was on top of us. They were well aware of. I mean, we went what to, we did. And we did go to the most obvious place. We we may, we may have trauma <laughs> severely traumatized a a cook and a housemaid in the process of also yeah. killing. Oh yeah, guards. Life is rough. I yeah. sometimes wonder what, what exactly compels me to continue traveling with you all, and then I remember my life would not be nearly as interesting if I didn't. We did good things today, Mattias. Indeed. That is, that is actually quite a relief. Yeah, we need some of those victories once in a while. Now, if anybody sees anything that I can kill, let me know. <laughs> I'll be sure to keep my eyes open. It seems that, that my idea of pure self-gain was, was not the most beneficial in the long run. What was the self-gain? Well, I just thought we could be paid for the will and leave. We did. I cared not too much about the family. But we we, we got paid. We did. And I'm going to open up the bag. Take the a family. look inside. You open up the bag. You see a large collection of gems. Mm -hmm. Gems? Yeah. You do a quick eyeball estimate. And you believe... There's 50, about the equivalent of 15,000 gold. Such a <laughs> wow. Okay. You writing it down? Yeah, fifteen thousand golden yeah. gems. Yeah. I, wow. Yeah. I think Paula keeps track of this stuff. Shiny. Yeah. <laughs> Not in a military salary. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Certainly not your dad. <laughs> father <and brother. laughs> yeah, your father doesn't. We are richer than my father. What? Perhaps we should just retire. <laughs> what? <laughs> Retirement. I didn't hear it. He said perhaps we should retire. Retire? <laughs> We've ventured enough. Uh, wow. <laughs> okay. Well, here's a thought. If we do not retire, there is the chance that we can loot Gazi's treasury. Yeah. Oh, that's even more money. I mean, I just want to kill Gazi, so that's a reward enough for me. This will do. This will help with our our military savings. Endeavors. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we did the right thing. 
Yeah. It might be enough to kickstart things. I mean, I can't say whether or not we left that town in a, a good place or not with men like that running it, but... Mm. Unfortunately, with them being in, in the position of power they were in, I do not think we would have been able to do much anyway. No, I agree. I agree. They're too, they're too deeply entrenched. They know the lay of the land, and quite frankly, they have what they had all the power. Hopefully the family made it out. And I, I don't think... I don't think there's any way that we'll know. Mm, probably not. Okay. Where shall we go now? Um, I have a mountain to visit. And then from there, I believe we were headed either north or towards France. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I was also interested in traveling to Kyberg, which is a couple days from here. Okay. Maybe towards France. Yeah. yeah. But I know that you have been venturing towards this destination for a long, long time. I see no reason why we can't take a few days to visit this mountain. Well, that's a big reason why we've been heading this way. Huh? Along with the fact that the Empire is here. Well, I mean, let's just not, let's just not forget the whole military expedition to, to drive back the Vampiric Sultan. The sun starts to slowly come up in the distance, and as it burns off a little bit of morning dew, you can tell it's crisp fall. The temperature has dropped compared to what it was for the past couple uh, weeks. It's got a little bit of chill, but it feels good. It feels here. good. It feels My kind good. of temperature. It's uh, infantry weather. <laughs> as you, good for hiking and what have you. Mm -hmm. As you, are you heading towards toward the mountain? Toward yeah, the towards, back, toward the mountains? Yeah. Towards You're the mountain? slightly yeah. farther north of the mountains as you came out of the okay. pass and mm -hmm. while Borinth had left you guys behind and <laughs> ventured forth for a little yeah. bit. But it's not that far. You can clearly see the mountains in the distance. You're following a path wide enough for a large wagon. You're crossing rolling hillsides, countryside rather. The fall, early fall air is crisp. It's still we still have a cart, up. right? We're still on our yeah. cart? Yep, you still yeah. have a cart. We have nice. a cart and a horse. Mm -hmm. And um, you're out in the... Salzburg is sl quickly disappears and it doesn't disappear. Quickly digresses into the distance. You can see the castle up on the hill. Mm -hmm. But you're far enough out that if you wanted to, you suspect um, with an easy perception check, you could probably set up on your cart at this point without stop hiding <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just nobody take the top down there you know. but it's your call fall has arrived large copses of birch trees dot the landscape broken by smaller paths and trails that branch off toward what appear to be distant homes and farms off on either side of the trail the rolling hills are covered with thick mature grass Continuing north, by midday the trees become fewer and the farms are more, more frequent and larger. The, the air smells of crops, if not ready to harvest, already being harvested. Fortunately, by late afternoon in the distance, you see very clearly a large mountain. Not fortunately, rather you, in the distance you see a large mountain. Yeah. Hopefully that is still there. Yeah. I don't know why that suddenly changed on me. Sorry. That's not what it sounds like. Oh, I thought that was getting weird <laughs> sounds. Do I see any ravens flying around any of the peaks of the mountains? Roll an investigation check with disadvantage. No, this is gonna be bad. Uh six. Six. You are so far away, it looks like about what it looks like here. If you were to see a raven, if there were a raven there, mm -hmm. it would be tiny yeah. at okay. this juncture. Does that make okay. sense? Yeah, absolutely. So yeah. you look and you, you don't see any, but you quickly realize, and nor should I, at this right. distance. Okay. I'm just okay. keeping a, an active eye out. Yep. Right. Understood. Understood. 
Uh, uh, you continue toward the mountains? Yes? Yeah. No? Yeah. I mean, we're, we're going to probably have to settle. I don't know what time of day it is. Is it starting to get it's late? Now? late morning at this oh, point. Oh, late morning. Okay. okay. Yeah, we'll the walk through the farmlands is easy going. The Alps range looms large in the distance. Um, Untersberg is very, very distinct on the landscape as one of the mountains itself. In the route, you pass a small river. Again, looking south toward Untersberg, you see water cascading from an incredibly tall waterfall that springs forth from the side of an adjoining mountain and then cascades down below. You might be able to see it in the, mm -hmm. in the yep. picture on the left-hand side. Yeah. Continuing on and winding, now you find yourselves winding in between the mountains themselves. You find yourself at what you might call, the, for want of a better word, the base of the mountains, albeit later in the day. It is dusk. The sun is rapidly setting. It rapidly, rapidly disappears behind the mountains as it, as it crests behind these huge, massive peaks. Do you say we settle here? Yeah. And head into the mountains in the morning. What are we looking for in these mountains? We're going to the Untersberg. We're looking for some sort of an entrance way in, into the mountain. For what? A tomb. Oh. The tomb of Frederick Barbarossa. Oh. Hmm. Frederick the Great? What's that, Marius? Oh. Frederick Barbarossa? Yes. When we, so actually, I we, ran into him a while ago. we did. We ran into some skeletal form of himself um, right. when we destroyed yes, the, the crystal. The, the crown jewels when I delivered back to the king when I went back to Hungary. As I struck him down, he spoke to me about the Untersberg Mountains and to look for the ravens, which all goes back to a. A long myth and tale about <coughs> how the body of Barbarossa is within this mountain mm. and he is waiting to be awoken to unite the people of this land once again. I see. Hmm. And uh, there's some been other forces that have been convincing me that this is the path for me to take and have been steering me in this direction. So this is why we're here. So okay. see we rest and eat mm. and in first light we can begin into the mountains to look for this, the entrance into the mountain itself. Do you have any there idea where the entrance might be or what it is supposed to look like? I don't. Mm. But what I do know we just need to look for a sign of the ravens. The ravens. Okay. Well, in the morning, then. In the morning. We'll start a fire. And yep. Have some food. Yep, set up camp. Okay, you set up a camp. You set up a, a campfire and mm -hmm. to warm yourself. The temperature does drop very rapidly in, the, in this valley, mm -hmm. in between the mountains. They rise up into huge heights on either side of you. Being away from the city, the sky... The sky is absolutely spectacular, filled with stars, the, the ambient light of the city not obscuring them. I'm very and, at home here. <laughs> exponentially more so than yeah. in the city itself. Um, I have a quick question about gritty realism. So, about uh, what? Gritty realism? That sure. we're, like, so exhaustion? Does it require a week for the exhaustion, like seven days, or is it once... How does that work for no, exhaustion? Exhaustion is usually a short rest, I thought. I thought it's a long um, rest. We'll say for the purposes of this that it's... Uh, uh, you know what? We'll just make a quick DM ruling and we'll stick with it for right now. Okay. That, that it's gone. And then okay. moving forward... We'll, well, after a full night's we'll, rest. We'll, we'll figure out if I'm wrong. Okay. Adjust fire so just don't okay. hold it, me to it at that point. Okay. Does that make sense? That's very perfect. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. Good mm -hmm. enough. I don't remember. I didn't think of it earlier. I don't want to worry about it now. No. Yeah. So, um, and I'm not going to spend time looking it up. Yeah. So, for the purpose of this, it's uh, it's gone for now. Okay. You are no, you are no longer exhausted. <laughs> okay. Well, after the night, I'm assuming yeah. after I sleep. Yeah. 
Yeah, but just don't hold me. Whatever the rule is, we'll look it up later. Mm -hmm. okay. 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 And obviously what's done is done, though. Yeah. Okay? okay. All right. You guys set up a watch. You go first, because i got to go pee. Sure. I'll watch <laughs> first. While you're doing that, we'll take a quick break. You okay. are watching the Carpathian Adventure on Seven Sided Die, and we will be right back. Oops, uh, wrong one. I'll be right back, too. I need to use the bathroom as well. Welcome back. You were watching the Carpathian Adventure on Seven Sided Die. We rejoined the party at the base of the Alps Mountains and at the base of Untersberg Mountain. Okay. You guys uh, set up a watch? I will watch first. I'll go okay. second. Maddie, let's go third. Okay. First watch. Nothing happens. Second watch, nothing happens. And third watch, nothing happens. The morning passes uneventful. Mm. The morning takes a little bit longer to um, the sky to illuminate because the cloud is blocked by these huge mountains. As you remember when you cross the Alps themselves, that it just that the, the sunrise and sunset happen very, very quickly yeah. uh, because of the, the just the, the nature of the large shields themselves okay you're at the base of the mountains what do you do is there Starts any okay what, what's that sorry no go, go ahead. ahead um i think we should look and see if there's any sort of a path or a trail through or maybe leading to the mountain or are we just going to be kind of roughing it through anything like this is out of my area of expertise mm. Right. Sure would be helpful to have a ranger. <laughs> yeah, it would. <laughs> <laughs> More ways mm -hmm. than one. <laughs> yep. Where are you, Kip? Kip Galen. Um, 
But looking for a path would probably yeah. is probably so. yeah, a, yeah, I mean, a good gonna, idea. Yes. We'll break up camp. Um, it does. Does the path ahead seem like we we're able to take the cart? Um, for now, it does. Okay. But you huh. suspect that you I mean you look up at the mountains themselves. I mean you you quickly realize this cart is not going to go up the side of a mountain. Right. If oh. you, Perhaps we should leave the cart here. And yeah, I think that's press forward. I think that's a good idea, especially since we're not really needing it to carry anything, mm. right? But it would be good to have this as like a home base. So we'll, we'll leave the cart. Try to disguise it a little bit, and we put some shrubbery. 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 <laughs> shrubbery. A shrubbery. A shrubbery. Bring us a shrubbery. <laughs> <laughs> We are the knights you are, who say you are obviously a D and D player. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so we'll hide it, Flash wound. <laughs> and then we'll look for um, yeah, a path or, or some sort of. Okay, what do you know. do with the horse? Bring the horse with. We us. can bring the horse with us. He's <laughs> like a master with horses. Okay, this is master, true. horse master, horse master. Here's the. Yeah, we'll bring the horse, the horse with us. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Okay, you continue and toward very clearly looking at the Untersburg Mountain. I gather you're looking for something. Raven, the raven. The raven. Do I see okay. the raven? Okay, it's still it's a huge mountain. You're guessing it's probably you're probably at about if you had to guess. Well, you can't guess. I mean, you, you don't understand. Yeah, the elevation. elevation. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you know that you're above sea level, yeah. but you're looking up this mountain. I mean, if yeah, you had Kip with you, he might know, but he's not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He could tell you it's huge. It's you'd be able to say yes, it's exactly blah blah blah, uh, with his calibrated eyeball. But no. Yeah. Um, okay, but you see a whole bunch of trails, and it, and without even rolling a perception or investigation check, there you suspect they're like goat trails going up the side mm -hmm. of the mountain, and you can you can there's probably three four. You could probably any one of them might lead further up. So you just oh. pick one or. I guess. Yeah, we'll just mean, pick one and see if anything yeah. strikes our interest that catches our track. eye as yeah. we walk. Right? Yeah, we're looking for an entrance to the or to the mountain. We're looking to get to the maybe directly to the base of the mountain. Keeping an eye to the sky for any. Yeah, any trails that may start to lead up Ravens. that mountain in particular. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We're just trying to navigate the landscape the best we can. Okay, you you start to climbing up the goat trail. Yeah, it's a little bit early on that. <laughs> Sorry about that. The climb as you go start going up the goat trails, it's challenging. It's strewn with rocks. There are multiple goat trails. There's no specifically one defined route, if you will, mm -hmm. up the side of this mountain as you're looking for entrances. You're kind of looking back and forth, trying to discern where it's going. Everybody roll a DC, roll a nature check, please. Nature. Yes, please. Well, it was nice knowing you guys. 15. There we go. That's probably more appropriate. 15. 19. Okay. A lot of 19s. Got a 1. <laughs> Maddie. You're really one with nature over there, I rolled Warren. a 2. I'm a negative 1. <laughs> Maddie. Not, I'm a negative 1. You discover the remnants of a path. It cuts back and forth, and it continues to wind upward. You lead them on. Uh, yes. Yes, oh. I do. Okay. Continue. You ascend further, and eventually you get. You guys quickly come to the realization that this horse is not going to make it any farther up this hill. Or mountain, rather. Okay. Well... You could release him and let him go, or you could just let him go. Slaughter him, or you could no, we'll let him go. Maybe we'll find him on the way back yeah. down. <laughs> he knows the way. Worst comes to worst, he finds his way back to Salzburg. Yeah. yeah. Okay. The horse stands there for a while, and then he just slowly like clop, 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 mm -hmm. clop, clop, <laughs> back down the hill toward toward the small valley where you guys were just a, uh, last yeah. night. Meanwhile, you continue to ascend farther. Uh, quickly, as you ascend, the temperature just starts to drop at this point, and you quickly realize you're going, oh, no, not back up into the Alps. Back up. I'm back up uh. into the Alps. 
the temperature just starts to drop again. And you can find yourself trudging through snow. The higher you get, the deeper the snow gets again. Very quickly, the wind is howling across the valley, this little narrow defile, if you will, not really a valley, and up the side of the mountain. While there's no indication of such, but there might be if you had a ranger, mm -hmm. it almost sounds like banshees <laughs> okay. howling. If someone could see undead. Yeah. <laughs> well, I... Okay. Anyway, I everyone roll a DC-5 con check. Matthias included. Ooh. All right. DC-5, yeah. 11. 23. Okay, you guys, it's getting cold. You wrap your cloaks around yourself and you brace yourself from the cold and the wind. I have some extra hides if anybody needs some extra hides. That's oh, fine. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you passed, you passed, you needed a five, but it, it's still bitter cold. You, you just feel that it's bitter, bitter cold. The trail disappears for a moment. Everybody roll a, a nature check. <laughs> Oh, okay. Natural 20. Natural 20. 14. You quickly... Uh, I got a natural 20 as well. Wow. <laughs> Between the two of <laughs> The mountain opens. This way! <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely this way! <laughs> Both Simon and Mattias... <laughs> two big lights. <laughs> e e e <laughs> quickly determine the trail, for want of a better world. It's really not a trail, mm -hmm. but it kind of like indications of where a trail might have been cutting through uh -huh. the snow. Uh, you continue to ascend. The wind continues to increase. Everybody roll another con check, please. 17. Mm. 24. Very good. Another 19. Wow, you're good. You guys are all good. It's getting even colder and colder. This fur is luxurious, Boron. Thank you very much. 21. The wrapping your cloaks well, around yourself, you, helped, right? you, brace your, you brace yourself from the howling wind and cold. The mountain itself narrows, and the path steeply climbs. It seems to be cutting back and forth as you do so. Eventually, eventually, I don't know if you can see it in this picture, right up at the top. Eh, where's the top, Tom? <laughs> it's over to the... Oh, oh that way. Uh -huh. yeah. Where is it? Well, it would be. It looks like there's a higher peak that's not shown. Yeah, to the right. Oh, there it is. I think that's it. Yeah, right up there. Okay. Right up there. You guys eventually, oh. you climb all the way up to the, almost to the peak. Mm -hmm. The wind is howling and cold. <laughs> And eventually, eventually, as the mountain path narrows and climbs, you find yourself on a, about a 20-foot wide and about a 10-foot deep plateau right there. On one side of it, it's almost a sheer cliff down to the, down to the distance below. The other side faces the remaining peak of the mountain itself, the surface of which is covered with a layer of ice and snow. Looking about, roll a perception check with advantage. Yes, please. 15. 10. Perception? Yes, 15. please. Mattias and Zyman don't notice, but Borinth looks up and he sees, despite the wind, and somehow in spite of the wind, a flock of ravens circling the apex of the mountain. The ravens, they're here. Look, the ravens. Ah. We're, ah. we're at the spot. But how do we get in? This is the spot. Um, how do we get in? I'm gonna take my book out. Frederick did not tell I'm you this. Open the book, and I'm gonna look in the book and see if it helps me 
Figure out what to do from here. Roll an investigation check with advantage. Go oh, natural 20. Natural 20. No. You open to a page. The book just naturally opens up. And for some bizarre reason, there's a face drawn on that page. And the face looks like this. <laughs> okay. And that's it. All right. I'm going to take the book. And I'm just going to yell out <laughs> as loud as I possibly can. How loud? As loud as Borneth could ever possibly yell. And just roll like that to the sky. Roll a d20, add your con bonus, but with disadvantage. Fifteen? Fifteen. You hear some rumbling of, of snow, which doesn't seem to do anything. I'm going to hit it. I take out my corn, and I'm going <laughs> to... You blow your horn! <laughs> Roll with DC 20 with con and advantage. <laughs> 22. 22! It, it starts to shatter, and you feel like it's just... It's like... You feel like, yeah, maybe, but it's... not doing anything just yet. I'm going to yell again, and I'm going to yell... I'm just going to yell at Woden just to show me the path. Show me the path, Woden. I'm just going to yell out in the sky again. Do you yell by yourself? Everybody. Give me the horn! Yell! Give me the horn! Everybody yell with me. <laughs> Do you yell, Matthias? Yes, we all yell. I yell. Let yeah. out your warrior spirit, man. This is the time. <laughs> Let out your warrior spirit right. within. Let it out. It's like... <laughs> with <a> gun. <laughs> okay, with advantage. 22. What's the total 19. combined score? 24. 40. That's 46. 19. 46 and what? Con. Right, Con? Yeah. Yes, Con. Because he comes from inside you. You're right! 60. 60 altogether. 60. Uh, and then I blow the horn. <laughs> <laughs> blow the horn and after. <laughs> <laughs> the sound reverberates and echoes off the walls. A crack form and striates across the cliff face. You realize it is about to come tumbling down. I recommend holding on to something, fellas. Uh, what now? I grab them both and I throw them down to the ground. <laughs> you bully you all. You grab them both and you allow them to... T- you dive down onto the ground. The falling snow and comes tumbling down on top of you. Everybody roll a deck save. Nice. Save. I got a one. A one. <laughs> a what? 19. 19. 18. 19. 19. You take seven. Remember, I was holding on to him. Yes. <laughs> I was shielding him. Okay, he takes... I'm sorry, he takes... Yeah, seven points of damage, you take three, and you take three points of damage from just this, like, because there are, like, rocks Mm -hmm. collapsing with the little bit of snow that's coming down. It just kind of, like, collapses down on top of you. The snow just blasts off the side of the hill and goes tumbling down over the edges. And And then it slowly starts to dissipate, and you find yourselves laying on the ground right there. And you and you can feel this, the weight of it kind of drifting off into the distance, and you can you can feel it on the back of your head, on the back of your neck, but it suddenly stops coming down as you're laying on the ground right there. Slowly lift my head up. Yeah, dig myself out. <laughs> I take Simon and I lift him up by the, <laughs> like the back of his clothes. Just lift him up. As you lift yourselves up. 
the snow tumbles off the back of your head, off the back <sighs> of your shoulders. The, s- the sunlight is blaring from the east at this point. And there in front of you are two huge doors, probably 20 feet high. This is it. I would say so. I'm gonna walk up to the doors. If it's not it, we've definitely found something grand. Yeah. I'm gonna go up to the doors. These, you look at the doors, they are massively ornate. They're intricately carved into the, they're stone doors with ribbons of Celtic knotwork going around the edges. And you see two holes on either side of a sliver that you assume is the, the center of those two doors. There are two deep holes going into the doors themselves. I'm just going to take my hands and kind of feel over all the etch work on the doors, like I'm just kind of soaking it in, right? Just feeling the doors. And just I'm going to take both my hands and boom, <laughs> shove them right in. Drive them open. You shove your hands inside the holes. You feel nothing happens. You 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 find your arms inside the holes themselves. It almost feels as though you, you feel around just unconsciously. You feel around and there's almost like a bar deep inside the holes. Okay. There's like one bar in each hole so the first, at the far end. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to twist it. You try to twist and, and they start to turn and suddenly they feel bitter, freezing cold, biting into your arms. Make a wisdom save. So bad. Let's see. Wisdom. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Eleven. Eleven. You. You take. A lot of dice. <laughs> Very physical. Okay. You know, I like to touch things and do <laughs> things right away without thinking. You know. <laughs> you rolled an eleven, correct? Yeah. Uh, okay. You take twenty-four points of cold damage, and you're grabbing hold of them, and you feel like they're turning. But they haven't turned yet. They're they're about one half a rotation. What are you doing? Okay, I'm gonna keep turning them. Okay, it gets.
Well, let's hope that's what we desire is in here. Are we ready? I suppose. It's either that or stay out in the cold. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna light a, a torch or some something, try to find something I can light up on fire, a torch. <clears throat> Oh, I think I have something, or you have a light? You don't have a shield, right? No. I have a hammer. I can cast light on your hammer. Okay. Yeah. And I'll cast light on Mattias's shield, and okay. I will cast light on a rock for myself. Okay, so you <laughs> have light. I hold Everybody my hammer has... in front of me, and as I walk, I take, a, I take a step in. Entering the doors, you enter a small, ornately carved room. On the walls around the room are ancient battle scenes, some between ancient Germanic tribes and others between tribes and some kind of well-organized army. Opposite the doors, a clearly man-made hallway continues forward and it descends down. The distant sound of dripping water and fall falling rocks echoes throughout sound. Everyone roll a perception check. That's an eight. That's one. <laughs> I mean, a perception, Mattias. zero, <laughs> technically, because I have negative one. I'm just in awe. I'm sorry, Reiner? Fifteen. Fifteen. Reiner hears a head you hear fluttering noises. They sound almost like bats. In addition, you note that the tunnel, the ground, the walls, all seem to rumble slightly. Did anybody else hear the rumbling and fluttering? Mm, like, no. Maybe bats. I mean, we're in a mountain. I don't know. I will. I'll put my hand against the wall. Because he said the walls were rumbling. <laughs> you feel it ever so slightly now that he's pointed it out. Hmm. Maybe we. Maybe the avalanche loosened more than just the snow on the outside. Maybe these doors haven't been open for a very long time. Maybe something was loosed on the inside as well. Maybe. I'm just telling me that this doesn't mean something about the entire place being alive. We should proceed with the car. Yeah. So everybody having a good time? Yeah. Fabulous. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's like yeah. three minutes to ten, guys. That's okay. probably good place. as good a place yeah. as yeah. any to pause. Perfect. It's a great place. Uh, everybody had a good time? I hope Amazing so. Time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's go yeah. around the table, starting with Jess. Mm -hmm. Jess, if you will, sir, what was your highlight? Uh, uh, my my highlight was probably uh, Borenth, uh sweet talking. Doing the hard sale on the guards to distract <laughs> distract them to get us past. <laughs> doing the like Ron Papil like, <laughs> like infomercial. Like, yeah. Come and get my stuff! Come and get my stuff! That was <laughs> the least persuasive guy in the world. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. I mean, come and get my yeah, stuff! Yeah, I, I got angry when I didn't want to look at my stuff. I got angry. Why aren't you looking at my stuff? So that was probably it. Very cool. Not, not ending up arrested. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> very cool. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad. That was that was very creative. Thank you for the adventure log. Uh -huh. And uh, there was, I think there was kind of a hook woven in there. It was, I think we talked about it. It was like hook, it was, hook light. Yeah, it was hook light. It was kind of hook light, but um, but it, it was sort of there, if you will. So I mean, and we talked about it offline. Mm -hmm. um, so I do appreciate it. Um, and you are still seventh level, correct? I believe so. Yep. Um, so with the di level difference bonus, with Mattias being tenth level, the highest player at this particular session. Um, whoa, 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 whoa. Two, two I'm tenth. tenth. Oh, you're tenth as well? Wow. Well, oh, that's right, you are tenth. I'm sorry. Mattias and <laughs> I don't want to give him all of the... Earth. That's right. Um, yes, that's 
right, I'm level 10 now, aren't I? Yeah, you did are. you not uh, up, up degrade everything? You should have gotten some fancy stuff, no? Uh, 29.50 on experience. 29.50 on experience, Jess. Okay. I appreciate it. Uh-huh. Uh, Ball, Borinth, what was your highlight, sir? I had, so there was many, I had so many good highlights in there. I had, I had, my big thing is, one of the critiques that I do of myself, and I've mentioned this to you before, is that I don't give the NPC characters enough chance to, like, be characters. Like, to have more personality and, like... I think you do. I, but I feel like I should do it more. Like, I feel like we come and we kind of just blow through a lot of these characters. And, like, I, I want to make, like, an, a conscious effort to make friends in the world as opposed to just destroy everybody in the world. Like, to create relationships and alliances within. I think so you did. I really liked the banter between Mr. with Mr. Yellow and Mr. Green and Mr. White. Like, I really enjoyed that whole, like, the whole interaction. Right? You, like, it doesn't, we don't always have to take. We can, and sometimes oh, I agree. the world will provide by not taking all the time. I, I was very surprised with the nonviolent <laughs> resolution. <laughs> well, yeah. So, oh, <laughs> you were. I'll say. <laughs> <laughs> but okay. I mean, I painted a whole bunch of thugs. I feel, <laughs> yeah, I I feel like it, it fits along <laughs> the path that I'm trying to take Borinth as like a leader of people. Right, and you can't just always just smash and smash and smash in order to get I people agree. to to back you up and to to empower people. Like oh, the wow. way that I was trying to empower those guys in a way of being like, "Hey, yeah, you're good workers. Like you're good guys. Like you don't have to do the wrong well, thing." I think it was a little bit sarcastic. At no, it wasn't. <laughs> I didn't mean it as necessarily oh, okay. that okay. way. Like I meant it. When, like I, that's why I wanted to make sure I told yeah. Mr. White that like. Those are good guys. Oh, at the like, end you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The beginning. Here like, can I see? Can I see your manager? To, yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to like figure it out. Like, you know, figure like feel them out. I had a lot of fun with all of that. So, and then just being where we are right now, I'm just like, I'm so oh. amazed and like yelling at the I top hope of the mountain. it lives up to your expectation. <laughs> <laughs> I know it will. Yeah. I mean, just it's happening, right? So that is sure. that is amazing. As long as we don't so, all yeah, die. I love yelling <laughs> like the whole on top of the mountain, like creating like an avalanche yeah, in order to open the doors. That's so cool. Mm-hmm. And I loved hitting the horn. I had a lot of, I mean. <laughs> I've been waiting for the horn. I know. I was excited <laughs> about the horn. And it didn't dis- it disappoint at all. Wow, <laughs> it was a good horn. <laughs> Keeps going and going and going. I have a horn now. <laughs> 1,000 on experience yeah. points, sir. Reiner, Mattias, what was your highlight? Um, the fact that we managed to help the family, even if. The situation wasn't ideal. We managed to get them out and hopefully to save them. I think that doing something that it's a it's a long overdue a demonstration of genuine altruism on our part. I think you guys, yeah, you guys did you done good. Yeah, it felt like we did good. Even, even after the wizard tried to lead everybody astray for just profit and self <laughs> <laughs> But we profited <laughs> more. Tried to lead everybody astray just for profitable self gain. <laughs> you did the right thing, and we ended up with it worked fifteen really thousand well. worth of we did gems. good. <laughs> so. We did good. I think we all did good. I really do. We okay. played our cards right. Reiner, a uh, thousand gold, or a thousand gold, a thousand <laughs> experience points, a thousand experience points, sir. Uh, guys, I had a good time. I appreciate it. Fabulous. You never. <laughs> Today, tonight was the night. Demonstrates it never goes the way the DM thinks it's going to go. You know, sometimes it's more subtle the dip, the digression than others, and sometimes it's just that was total. That was like a total turn. Well, that was a pretty much a total turn. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty much a total unexpected turn. Yeah. Maybe I should have expected it because I'm not stupid. I kind of plan multiple paths, and I'm like. Nope, that didn't go either. Any of those. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. I had fun, though. I do appreciate it. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, thank you guys for watching Seven Sided Die's Carpathian Adventure. Again, we would like to thank Sirenscape for those use of those audio sound effects. That's www.syrnscape.com. Thank you, artist Yenu and Silky Noir for their terrific character art. Please patronize them. Via the at symbol Yenu draws on Instagram, at symbol Yenu on Tumblr and Twitter. Please patronize Silky Noir on DeviantArt. Please comment in the Twitch chat room on YouTube. 
uh, rather a comment on YouTube in the Twitch chat room, on Facebook, on Twitter, and on Instagram. While we do this strictly for fun, please comment and let us know how we might improve our stream. Please follow us on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. Please follow and like on Facebook, and please subscribe on YouTube. As we sign off, let me leave you with a paraphrased DM adage I recently read. The role of the DM is like a crossword puzzle designer. The DM wants the players to succeed, but the DM doesn't want to make it too easy for them. This is because even as a player, you never win in D&D, you survive it. Always remember, in the Carpathian Adventure, the journey is the destination, and we will continue the journey in two weeks. So for now, thank you for watching. Roll a seven-sided die and have a good night. Play some Dungeons and Dragons! Dungeons and Dragons.